Well, there are certain casts of Asamites that do get Auspects, so... Not mine. Yeah, I mean, I'm just saying you could switch. I won't. I'm quite happy where I am. <laughs> Alright. So. Uh, you were taken off by the uh, bishop during the last session. Um, you were just kind of told that uh, basically he thought that the others were relying on you too much. And he wanted to test out Joseph to see what he was made out of. <laughs> if you have not listened and to uh, last week's... I haven't it's actually worked. posted it oh, yet, okay. but, um, yeah, you may want to Appar check it out. Apparently Joseph is made of murder from what we saw earlier. Uh, yeah. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm a good guy. <laughs> Are you? Well, I mean, compared to me, maybe. He's just misunderstood. I've read both. <laughs> I know both of your oh, characters. Oh, yeah, no, you got, and I don't I mean... know. <laughs> Yeah, no, Joseph, jo <laughs> what, how'd you wind up, Stallworth? We all hated you and thought you were an infernalist. Well, not everyone. <laughs> That's how Joseph's leadership went. Well, I don't think so, so not everyone. <laughs> yeah. But everyone Almost. that he was attempting to lead. That's true. I thought um, I did a good job. To... <laughs> <laughs> He's Ever the optimist. Just trying to convince David to come with them took, like, 20 minutes. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I God. think that ended with us just forcing him. Yeah. yeah, I think I think you did just carry him out. All right. So, uh, and the bishop asks if you've, you know, basically gave you a little bit of a rundown on the paths a while ago. And he asks if you've kind of come to a decision which one you would be interested in looking into. It's not necessarily need to be permanent right now, but. What would you... Do you have an idea of what you'd like to start studying? Uh, which path was it? Yeah. Um, just out of curiosity, what is my um, mentor? Do I get to choose what he had? Um, yeah, if, um, you, SIR, have, rather, if you have a specific one that you really want him to have, then you can choose it. Otherwise, I will go with um, what I have. Uh because I figured what I would go for would be to try to mimic my sire as much as possible. Mm. But what I would actually want to roleplay as would be um, the Honorable Accord one. So if my sire had that, it would be perfect. Because he never really exactly told you what path he had. You know that he definitely did behave, um, you know, kind of honorably and stuff like that. But that could also just be personality traits as well. It doesn't necessarily mean that he was on the path. Hmm. I don't suppose I have a way to contact him. Not really. And anyway, theoretically, uh, it's supposed to be more of a personal choice. You shouldn't be basing it on um, what anyone else has. In that case, I will go for Honorable Accord. All right. So, uh, when it came around to the beginning of the last session, um, after meeting with Joseph, he met with you and said that uh, he was going to take you out to introduce you uh, to someone who might be able to help you in your growing process. This young sprout. I see. So, while Joseph is handling the others, uh, we will be out doing that. Alright. Works for me. So, once you guys are out of the uh, pack lair, uh, he says he's getting on his motorcycle and tells you, all right, now we're going down to a whorehouse called The Heart. Very well. All right. I give him a bit of a quizzical look, but I ask no questions. All right. So once you're hopped on the back of his motorcycle... Oh, uh, blood and will PowerPoint that restored? Um, no, it should be the same level as it was. Even blood point? Even the... Well, you should take... I think we took off one blood point for the day already when we had done it. But yes, this is... Yeah, because uh, this is I would really appreciate if I could um, go for some blood then. Ah. Well, I was you, quite low when we ended last time. If you express uh, a need for some blood, um, 
he does tell you that you should just uh, basically just go grab some from the uh, cellar because you don't have a lot of time. I will gladly do so. All right. So as you're heading on your way to the uh, the cellar for some vitae, you see uh, the female twin uh, standing there outside the door. It looks like she's waiting for someone. Then I'll greet her politely. Good day to you. Hassan. You're here. I am. Well, I'm unfortunately in a bit of a hurry. Feeling peckish? Yes, I suppose that would be appropriate. Well, she says, and she kind of steps forward. And she's uh, looking... Um... She's offering herself to you. Yeah. She's looking erotic. I see. One second. Let me check something real quick. Crap, right. I gotta keep him waiting. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, I will, I'll tell her. A delightful offer, but could it perhaps wait till I return? Says it doesn't need to take long. Oh, but I would want it to. <laughs> then we can do it again. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Fuck. Out played. That's a, that's a good point. We could just keep Shit. having some well played, Malay. Damn. Hmm. <laughs> 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 <All right. laughs> No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How much do you like the bishop versus how much do you like the female twin? Oh, I like him a lot more. Okay, well then, you're gonna, you're gonna go. I, I will have to tell her. I really must go. My apologies. Alright, she takes off her shirt, and you can see there is a small trail of vitae uh, running down from her nipple, down her breasts. Come on! <laughs> And once you can see this Vitae in the air, uh, another refusal is going to necessitate a self-control roll. No need, I'll just, I'll take the two points. <laughs> uh, she'll give you more than two points. How much are you, uh, what are you down to? I'm down to three All out right. of 13. Yeah, she will give you uh, like three or four. Yeah, I'll take three then. I'll be polite and only take three, quote unquote. All right. <laughs> So, you yeah. have convinced me. <laughs> As you're, um, you know, suckling on. But her I will, breasts. Be, I, I will be doing it quickly. All right. <laughs> As you're quickly <laughs> sucking on her breasts. <laughs> I'm just imagining just Lizia like passing by, just like, oh, another day at the office. <laughs> <laughs> you know, probably. Can I at least like take her in somewhere a bit more private than right out in the open? Uh, I mean, you guys can kind of duck into a shadowy corner. I'll do that then, at least. <laughs> You're so bad. And you do have to uh, put up with her, like, doing a lot of, like, creepy, dirty talking while you're doing it. Like, uh -huh. some of it is just yeah. weird. <laughs> uh huh. I imagine that puts my um, wrinkle in my one mob with her. Does it just keep doing that? Oh, yeah. Every mm -hmm. time? Yeah. Mm -hmm. is, there, is there no limit except 10? Well, um, the, yeah, the vinculum will go up to 10. Huh. So we're just all going to be bloodbound to everybody else. It seems well, that way. Yeah. I mean, well, that's an once, ideal. Once, I, because we're family. once I've taken the once I've taken the free points, I will step away and I will say, I will repay this later. <laughs> she winks at you and says, "I know you will." Mm -hmm. <laughs> now I gotta fuck the brother too. Damn it. <laughs> yep. Guess what? Actually, I, I like him more somehow. <laughs> okay. Alrighty, that sounds just weird. That's... <laughs> All right. Uh, just a weekly. Don't uh, let either of them find that out, because you're gonna. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> no, it's just, um, when I take blood from one of them, that only counts as some that one we'll gender that going up, yeah, right? That, that right. Good. Body. 
Understood. All right. I, yeah, All right then, let's get going. <laughs> I believe I did, yeah. All right. So, you uh, come around, uh, you head back out, you find uh, the bishop on his motorcycle checking his watch when you come around, kind of quickly whip, wipe your mouth, <laughs> and mm -hmm. uh, straighten up, <laughs> and uh, get on Smooth the back of the motorcycle. <clears throat> Excuse me, just uh, <clears throat> sex. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, he drives you into uh, Montreal and then says, uh, we're going to stop at the building, so we're going to head inside and uh, I'm going to introduce you to someone who might be able to um, just sort of assist you with the process. I believe uh, you may already be familiar with her. And this is as he's taking you inside, and you can see there's a lot oh, of so other... Oh, so it's Olivia. Yeah, you can see there's a lot of other, uh, like, just sort of business types and other people hiring prostitutes, kind of like upper-class prostitutes, milling around this place, uh, talking to various uh -huh. women working there. And eventually, you were taken uh, inside a small bedroom, which is writ, uh, lit with like a pinkish sort of light and uh from out behind a curtain emerges olivia i'm not surprised to find a tori over here <laughs> just to be clear that's out of character my character did not think that all right because she can tell <laughs> She I know she would be able to, um, so that's why i'm making it absolutely clear my character does not think that <laughs> What your character thinks instead is, oh, good, it's Olivia. <laughs> As he is pleasantly surprised, of course. <laughs> and the vinculum takes a hold. Miles thinks, oh, shit. I was expecting to find a Toreador here. And his son thinks, no, no. what a pleasant surprise. Yeah. <laughs> so Hassan uh, greets her warmly. All right. So, uh, yeah, so Olivia kind of comes up and embraces you and says, Hassan, it's so nice to see you again. And then... Likewise, in... milady. <laughs> Was that an ironic or an unironic milady? Unironic? That's her title, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is. So, yeah, I would call her that. <laughs> All right. So, um, as she kind of looks over and sort of feigned, uh, surprise, possibly, uh, to Yamamoto and says, is this the young man you were speaking of before? And, uh, Yamamoto is very serious and just kind of nods and says, yes. Well, Olivia turns back to you and says, Oh, we're going to be learning about the Path of Honorful Accord together. Isn't that going to be fun? I should hope so. And then Yamamoto kind of puts a hand on your shoulder and says, She'll be able to teach you many things, I believe. Well. I have no doubts about that. I have personal matters to attend to. Um, but I will be around to uh, pick you up once I'm finished with them. I see. We shall meet later, then. Alright. So, he departs, and uh, you're left there with Olivia. And, uh, she has you, she goes and sits down on the bed and kind of motions, kind of pats the bed next to her for you, that motion for you to sit down. I will do so. Alright. So once you sit down, she kind of puts an arm around you and says, So, you would like to learn about a path of enlightenment. That is correct. Are you prepared for what exactly that's going to mean? Of course. All right. That's a very get-up-and-go attitude you have. I appreciate that. Well. Thank you. Now, I think the first thing I'm going to have to disabuse you 
of the notion of is many people think that uh, once you follow a path, it implicates total disregard for humanity. Mm. And I can tell you that at least as a member of the Path of Honorable Accord, that our way does not lead down that path. We understand that we are different from humans, but that does not mean you can do just about anything you want with them. I understand. Your notion uh, should be to behave honorably, just as a knight always behaves honorably, even to those inherently lesser to him. Hence the name, yes. Hence the name. To that end, I think what we're going to do is to, bri uh, to provide you with a little pet during your training period. Oh no! <laughs> I'm going to put you in charge of a human. Your job is going to be to make sure they are safe and healthy and well cared for while they live with you in your pack lair. Oh, this will be fun. I see. A most surprising task. And of course you uh, will be conducting your other training at the same time. This will just be a little side thing going on for the next few months or years. And of course, as part of this, uh, you will not be allowed to use your own vitae to influence this person. Your job is to take care of them without resorting to tactics like that. I suppose this also means I cannot have someone dominate them, yes? Well, I wouldn't say that's safe and happy and well cared for. Of course. All right. I'll uh, make the arrangements in a little bit. Until then, will the person will the person be aware of this arrangement? Uh, no, I don't think they'll be. They may find out about it, and that's not a problem. But they are not aware. I see. <laughs> I, I, I see. <laughs> I see, he says. And well, she oh. leans back hmm. on the bed and says, Now, I have uh, some other things to tell you, but I think maybe uh, it'd be easier if you were down here where I could whisper into your ear. That is not a problem. <laughs> All right. So, uh,. She would like you to spend a blood point to activate your uh, equipment. Equipment. Well, I can't rightly refuse her now, can I? <laughs> and uh, as you are sharing blood with one another, and uh, you know, make any adjustments you need to on your sheet. Right, will do. <laughs> Done. I. Uh, she starts explaining other more esoteric elements of the uh, Path of Honorable Accord. Pretty much a lot of the stuff you're familiar with, uh, out of character. Um, it's just that she's doing it while having sex with you. Uh-huh. So one did, it while, one, one did it while I was sucking her tit, the other was doing it while I'm fucking her. Nice. Yeah, pretty much. All right, then. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, after a little bit... Uh, Yamamoto comes back and uh, takes you off after your first lesson. And once you're on the motorcycle, it says, So, how'd it go? It was an enriching experience. And I have been provided with a task. I see. And what is she having you doing? Oh, Carter. Um, she didn't mention anything about this having to be kept secret, did she? No, she didn't mention it. All right, then. In that case, I'm going to go ahead and assume that's not a problem. And it's not, <laughs> it's on it's that's her problem. That's her issue. That's her fault. No fault of my own. The honorable it's... path, <laughs> blaming others. Exactly. No, 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 hold on. 
I have been given a mission and not uh, not letting people know about it did not fall under that mission. Mm -hmm. that's, how, that's how I'm looking at it. It's very clear. Pretty cut and dry. So I will tell him, apparently I am to ensure the safety and well-being of a human. I see. Well, that's certainly an interesting objective. Yes. It is like a more extreme version of when you had me guide Mr. Joseph and Mr. Sean. Mm. Well, I mean, not exactly the same. I mean, you have to keep them safe in both instances, but then again, a human could probably kick Jean's ass, so... <laughs> this will be simpler. Is... <laughs> Yamamoto, you are so funny. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. <laughs> my bishop. <laughs> Claps him on the back. <laughs> I, I think my laugh was in character. <laughs> <laughs> Jean is a bitch. <laughs> He's not here, so we can talk shit about him. <laughs> I'm having uh, sex with his sire. <laughs> me <laughs> too. <laughs> it would not surprise me if my father also was. Pretty much everyone else in the pack is, except for Joseph. Yeah. I will fix that. So, or Jean has Jean. Well, maybe. We assume. He's not here to defend <laughs> himself and say, I'm a loyal husband! So... All right. So we assume that he has. So as, as, as if he had a say in the matter. Yeah. Well, we don't as uh, you guys are driving home, he does pass uh, and stops off at a uh, convenience store. He Buy says chocolate milk. He says that he is going in to purchase some cigarettes, and it'll be just a minute. While he is inside, uh, you can see there is um, someone just kind of hanging out in front of the store listening to the radio. And right, then. you can hear there's a story going on about apparently a jewelry store has been broken into by <laughs> by five maniacs. The fact, that you're laugh the fact that you're laughing lets me know what's going on. Yes, but Hassan does not. Um, Hassan does not. Hassan five maniacs who apparently just locked everyone up in the vault and the police are currently... <laughs> Desperately trying to open it up because uh, they also cut off the power, which disabled the ventilation system. And they're worried that everyone might suffocate inside. So, as I said, he wound up with everybody hating him. <laughs> Possibly an infernal. Oh, what the fuck, my guy? This, this was the beginning of our evening. This was the beginning. Okay, it went down from there. <laughs> How could you're like at the bottom of the barrel and you fucking broke it apart and duck deeper? Oh my goodness! Everything was fine <laughs> <laughs> for you. Oh my goodness! Okay. I just want to remind everyone: Jean thought that Joseph was the most <laughs> yeah. human because he had a ghoul. That's the only thing. Oh, that was funny. yeah. That little uh, at the end of that one, he's like, "Well, no, I guess uh, best I think please, actually yeah. I'll." I think outside of uh, Sean himself, I think it might be me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's, it's, it's either me or Alicia. Yeah. Which are not good yeah, second no, place he was, options. He was, surprised. <laughs> he was surprised to find that his new best friend after that episode was Lizia. <laughs> I think also he assumed because of the torture thing, he didn't realize that Joseph just happened to be the one stake. That's why he wasn't torturing someone. <laughs> Like, if, Joseph, if, if the role had been a river, if I was down there and Joseph was torturing, I'd be missing multiple limbs. Oh, yeah. Nah. Oh, <laughs> He's really a nice guy. Just misunderstood. All right. All right. We can move on now. Anyway, yes, yeah, so you hear the report. So Yamamoto comes back out with a pack of cigarettes and uh, gets back on the motorcycle and starts driving right, you back to the haven. I will, of course, mention what I heard to him. Oh, things are going well then. They are? I mean, you know. It's nothing bad happening. Ah, I see. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, you I will ask no more of it. And he says no more. So. All right. After uh, a little while, 
uh, you know, you guys are hanging out back at the Haven. Everyone else deals with their stuff from the last session. And we catch up to uh, regular time again. Mm -hmm. So. <coughs> uh, the people in the vault, by the way, did get out okay. You did see that on the news. Uh, barely. They're all uh, having medical attention now, but. Okay, so no humanity roll. <laughs> Not for you, definitely. Okay. Alright. So Christ. After, after a little bit the next night, so everyone takes I, off. That's, that's worse than actually, because you just, you might have subjected them to a fucking horrible slow death or permanent brain damage. Oh yeah, no, they were, a lot of them were passed out by the time the police got in there, so okay. there could still be future consequences for this. Everything's all right. It's fine. Look at the side. None of them will remember. It's, it's, they are. Uh, fine. The police are treating it as possibly like an act of like mass murder or attempted mass murder. You just better um, hope. So. <laughs> so they are putting all of their resources to find the one responsible. Well, the five responsible. So when Hassan uh -huh. comes back, he does he. Uh, there's there's a big sign on the uh, garden door that says the Do Not Disturb. Okay, just so you know. It says not guilty. <laughs> Do not disturb. Do not prosecute. And I don't know if Jean and Joe were back yet from their little excursion. Yeah. After they left. So. Um. Alright. So the next night you wake up or in frenzy because yes. you're down to zero blood points. Yes, I am. Um, oh. On purpose. Uh, yeah, this is on purpose. She's on Okay, okay, okay. I'm on a vision quest. It doesn't make me feel any more safe. No, it shouldn't, because it's bad. <laughs> it's on purpose, but it's bad. So, in your uh, dreams, you did start to experience something of a vision. Okay, good. You were, uh, you basically opened your eyes during the day inside of the meditation room. Okay. And yeah, that's where you are. Okay. So I'm I now. So is this when I wake up in frenzy? I mean or it I've, I've, it does I'm, feel I'm very dreamlike. You okay. know you went to sleep, but you don't feel you feel sort of the so lethargy I'm, of so day I'm, on you. I'm awake in the and do I know that it's daytime? Is um you feel sunlight? tired like it's daytime. Okay. It's hard to move. All right, so I've just woken up. All right, well, I will get up and look around and call out to Kane for guidance. All right. As you are looking around, you see in a uh, the water feature there, you can see there is the, the actual electricity for it has been turned off during the day. But mm -hmm. um, in the still water, you can see that there is an image. Of what? Uh, it is a dragon, which is spiraling around to swallow its own tail. Ah, the Ouroboros. So, you can see there is a dragon, and mm -hmm. you can see as it's spinning around, it becomes a crown. Okay. Okay. Crown of immortality. And then a crown smashes down atop of a serpent. This crown, it becomes a crown and smashes down on top of the serpent? It crushes the serpent's head and then lays on top of it. And you okay. can see that the serpent is a foul and oozing black ichor. Okay. It is uh, some sort of font of corruption. And then you wake up in frenzy. Okay. Fortunately, there were blood bags there set out for you, so you yes. can immediately take yourself up to five blood points. Okay. Thank you, female twin. So yeah, Hassan, as you're waking up, you hear, like, screaming from the garden, and that's where, uh, you know, Lysia was meditating or doing something all the previous night. And then the screaming just stops. 
Uh huh. Is this the first time I have experienced this? Um, yeah. Probably, yeah. I think this is the first vision quest I've gone on. Okay. Has this ever been explained to me in any sort of capacity? Uh, nope. I'll go check on it. Alright, there is a do not disturb sign on the door. Okay, I won't go check on it. <laughs> I'll, I'll trust her judgment, but I'll remain close by in case need be. stand uncertainly outside the door. And as you're kind I'll, of standing there... I'll quote-unquote stand guard. As you're just kind of standing there, the door opens and Lysia emerges. Alright, so I need to... I need to try and interpret my own dream. I guess I'll head into the library and think about it. Are you, uh, alright? I'm... I'm fine. She can, you can see that she's see. basically splattered in blood. <laughs> I see. Should I not ask questions? Not yet. I don't have any answers. I will hold off then. And then there's a quick announcement on the PA system. Uh, Yamamoto says, I would like to see uh, Hassan and uh, Lysia in my office. <laughs> mm -hmm. I need to get like the buzzer sound for it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hassan and Lysia in my report, office. Report to the principal's office. I'll head in. <laughs> report so, to the yes. bishop's office. Actually, to be fair, it shouldn't be him making the announcement. It should be the housekeeper ghoul. After a somewhat annoyed sigh, Lysia will stomp off to the bishop's. He needs to be informed anyway. I don't know if they did that. Yeah, you have not. Leave it to them. I would have hoped that my other pack members would have said something, but maybe not. All right. So, uh, the two of you come in, and it says, "Ah, uh, Lizia, it looks like you're um, you're splattered in gore." Yes? Have you not been brought up to speed? Did you not hear about Joseph? Uh, that's one of the things I was going to ask you about. Yes, well, after carrying out the task that you assigned us, mm -hmm. we went to drop off the jewels and ran into the Inquisition. I see. And what did you tell them? They didn't ask us any questions. They only questioned Joseph. That's something I will question him regarding, then. There's no need for concern. There is no infernalism within this pack, and so we have nothing to fear from the Inquisition. Only those who are guilty have Except any reason to Jean's fear. Except for Jean's dream! Explain further. I feel as though I have missed something. <laughs> I mean, you did. In and out of character. Yeah. Yes, so I'll tell him John's dream and what I think it means and how I've decided to go on a vision quest because we don't know why Joseph doesn't want to turn his face back. And his handwriting is the same as that that John saw in his dream. And maybe, maybe he is an infernalist. There is no need for concern. If there is any trace of infernalism... It will be found out. If you are not guilty, then you have nothing to be worried about, and should cooperate with the Inquisition fully where it pertains to you. As for the other matter... I don't know, I got two very strong feelings. Oh, she keeps her mouth shut, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> As for the other matters uh, I wished to speak to you about... The first is that, as you are responsible for the spiritual well-being of this pack, you should know that Hassan is in the process of accepting a path of enlightenment. Congratulations. I didn't know it was <laughs> Turn it. Congratulations. To that end, it will be one of your additional duties in order to see to it that he maintains the strictures of his path as he alters himself. The change is not easy for anyone, and so you must do your utmost to assure that he does not slip. Uh, there is some 
relevant literature on the topic of the path in the library. You should educate yourself and be certain to hold him to that standard. Happily. Of course, if you do see any uh, swaying, uh, you are fully authorized to apply the appropriate penance based on your own initiative. All right, I will happily do so. All right. I've also been informed that as part of his uh, training, he will be accepting a human that he will be keeping uh, here at the lair. Uh, it is your job to make sure that this human is uh, safe, happy, and well cared for. You are not the one who is going to be doing it. That is all Hassan, but you will be watching to make certain he is not slack uh, okay. in any duty. You see her falling oh, ill. Sorry. You have to make certain that it is not something that Hassan could have reasonably been expected to prevent. So I get to be the judge. Uh, and, and you know I like to find people guilty. Right, <laughs> <Miles>? <laughs> I'm aware of that now. I hope the same doesn't hold true, Felicia. This is the oh. best part. Hassan oh. tried to kill himself. Yeah. yeah, this is the best part. Hassan eventually just tries to kill himself. Oh, I really wish uh, you hadn't told us that story now. Yeah, no, this is going to be fun, because, you know, Alicia is kind of like me in some ways, so... <laughs> I'm, I'm glad that uh, Imamoto is apparently looking out for me so much. Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you're going to... When you make, through, you're gonna you make it through, you're going to be a lot stronger if you make it through. All right. Well, you know, I'm going to have to truly educate myself on Path of Honorable Accord, because Alicia will at every chance she gets. <laughs> All right. And so paths are a little bit different from humanity in that, well, humanity is usually, I mean, it's something that starts high and you're always trying to just down. avoid the degeneration. So a lot of focus on humanity is the sins that are still applying to you. But with paths of enlightenment, you start at one and you're going the opposite direction. So your focus should always be the paths, the sins that you... Uh, don't need to avoid committing yet, but should be avoiding mm -hmm. anyway to prove yourself mm -hmm. to the path. So, mm -hmm. as part of her purview, of course, Lysia has broad discretionary powers to enforce at least the first five, perhaps, you know, mm -hmm. at least mention the others, even if not necessarily exerting like, penance, yeah, but at least a whole lot of, oh. hold it as a consideration. She's gonna have a little tisk that she'll do. Yeah, well, like, I won't be punished if I, for example, fail to show hospitality to your allies. I'll just be, I'll just be rude. Yeah. I won't be, I won't be a failing, but if I show cowardice, that's, mm -hmm. that's yeah. no good. Yeah. Yeah. The higher up the list they are, the less important they are, obviously, but at least Try to keep them all. when okay. all things are, other things are equal, you should theoretically be following all of them. Right, right. 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 It's going to get harder to follow. All right. All righty. So am I on point now? Uh, uh, the first rank now? Uh, no, you're still on humanity. The other thing oh, is okay. that uh, you have a lot of training to do. Um, and while you're on that, you also have to keep in mind your own humanity writing as well. Because if you go crazy before you're ready to undergo the ritual where you actually change, then that's a problem as well. So you're basically right. on both path of honorable court and humanity right now. Okay, I'll just write that down underneath it then. All right. Alrighty. So. so very well. <laughs> kind of cheers me up a little bit. Additionally, right then. I would uh, like to hear um, your report on. Uh, exactly what happened, Joseph. Uh, Hassan, you do not need to remain for this. May I, or should I leave? <laughs> uh, the tone that he gave you kind of indicates that you should... I will leave. I have been dismissed. I see. I will leave. <laughs> I will, right. of course, excuse myself politely and then leave. Bowing. As he backs yes. toward the door. <laughs> Alright. 
So, he says, the assignment that uh, Joseph had for you was one that I gave him to demonstrate his capabilities as a leader rather than just a follower. Oh, that's right, because Joseph had told us that that this was just of his own. Yes. Okay, so, yeah, so that's how I, I'm going to re rake on my uh, mm -hmm. original thing, because I think I mentioned that Yamamoto would take him out, but I was more concerned that he's just going off his own. That's... Yeah. Okay, anyway. Yamamoto dismisses everything. I was very upset. But now he's explaining, so okay. So right. jewelry store was, was his orders. Yes. How would you characterize his leadership abilities? Honestly. <laughs> A candid assessment. Uh, put aside any vinculum feelings you may have for him. I don't believe he has any. Put in a good word. <laughs> <laughs> Joseph's <laughs> voice floats in on the wind Whispering through the window Hey, hey, put in a good word for me um, As I look at my video I'm reading Because I, I thought I can remember She will sigh And she will say I would think he could benefit from mentoring I see. Would you uh, characterize the mission as a success or a failure? I don't know anything about it. I probably didn't watch the news because I was on a vision mm -hmm. quest, right? So I have no idea. Yeah. What happened? You know he locked him in the vault. I know he locked <laughs> well, him in the vault. it was vaults. powered off. Um, I don't, but I don't know if I would put the two together. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess... I will assume that no one got killed, and I don't, but I don't know if I find that good or bad or whatever. Anyway, um, <laughs> would I characterize it as a success? I guess if, if the mission was to destroy the jewelry store and possibly kill people, yes, it was a success. All right. In that case, you will not be meeting out any punishment to Joseph. Oh, no, wait! <laughs> oh god, I forgot to play my nature. Uh, <laughs> so, would I have beforehand known that I could mete out punishment to Joseph? No. Okay. Damn it, she just thinks to herself. Damn it, missed opportunity. Right. <laughs> I always assume there's the possibility for punishment. Okay. I should learn that. Okay. Also, you may have noticed there was a string of odd occurrences recently. Uh, for instance, uh, Jean's phone went missing. Um, oh, yes. I your finger one. was taken. Points to your sixth finger. Well, that didn't Hassan have to give it all back? I mean, we he all did. stood there. I guess I understand. Well, he, you didn't all stand there while he gave it back. He gave it back to you secretly. Or he gave it back to you openly because he took it openly, but mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, that was Hassan. I thought we had... You have no idea what that was. Okay. I was thinking he did that Yamamoto. We were there. With no, Yamamoto you were not. Him to. Okay, but we were, I was not there. Okay. Um. Anyway, so, so yes, I'm aware that was Hassan. Yeah. So that was a mission that he was on. He had to retrieve a number of items and then return them without arising any suspicion. Would you say you were suspicious of his activities during that time period? Yes, I was. I see. All right. I was there when he uh, gave back the phone. All right. Very well then. Uh, please prepare everyone. Uh, we are going to a blood feast at the Black Cathedral tonight. Ah, gladly. There is going to be an, and you would know this, there's going to be a opening 
uh, this is one of the beginning celebrations because they're going to be opening the Litany of Blood soon, which is basically the chronicle of the Sabbat's glorious history. Hmm. It's kept in Montreal and only opened once a year. So Sabbat are going to be busting in from all over the place for it. It's basically Sabbat Christmas. All right. Yay. Um... So it's not opened yet, but people are starting to arrive, so they're going to be holding blood feasts every night. All right. Well, I've got some good ideas for the blood feast. You're not going to be holding it. You're going to no, be... No, but we'll be there. Yeah. And possibly I might be, be finagle something into that. Yeah. All right. All right. So that is at midnight exactly is when it starts, so you're going to have to be there probably around, you know, 11 or 11.30. So you have a couple of hours if any of you want to do anything. Well, I need to go and meditate on my dream. All right. I'll grab some more blood if I can. Um, Just from the cellar. So the rules for the cellar is if it's not official business, then you're supposed to at least uh, replace whatever you take with a double of what you've taken. So okay, so I'm not going to the cellar then. There is, yeah, so there is a grace period on it. You don't have to do it immediately, but... Keep in mind that if you start using the cellar, you're expected to bring back quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Oh, would anyone be willing to go out with me to grab some blood? Perhaps Joseph would. All right. Yeah, no, it's always a good time to go out with Joseph. So Joseph, uh, you heard it's gonna be fun. <laughs> Hassan and Lysia get called in to the uh, main place. Um, and this is the first time he's talked to kind of any pack members since your mission that you went on. Um, and after a little while, Hassan comes and finds you. Good day to you. Hello, Hassan. I was wondering if you would join me for a bit of blood. Of course, let us go fellowship in blood. It's quite loud. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. No problem. Right then, let's uh, go to an alley or something and find some people so you guys are gonna go look for someone to bang over the head and uh drink from mm. yeah the i suppose we can bring the rest back here right yeah you could do that yeah let's be nice about it and bring someone back that is nice brownie points with the bishop it's not nice for the person we're doing it to but and Lizzie is now in charge of your morality. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let me just bring up that page again with all the things <laughs> on it. Right. So, uh, perception plus alertness. Whose is higher? Let me take a look at mine. Six. You assume that's higher than Star Wars? Oh, it's definitely higher. All right. <laughs> Yeah, so after a little bit of searching, you do find kind of a bum in an alleyway that looks like no one's going to miss. All right, then. Now, how would we go about bringing him back? Remind me again, what abilities do you have, Stalworth? Um, well, I got Dominate, not Dominate, and I'm also strong shit. Yeah, Dominate would do it, then. <laughs> so, if you could please dominate this person. And bring right. I'll, um, I'll... What can I do with Dominate 2? Um, it is manipulation plus leadership. You can basically issue commands to them. <laughs> Alright. So you're going to try and do that? Hello? Hello. Stalworth? Might be fixing his mic. Could be. Hmm. Hmm. Well, we'll just get. We'll assume that you uh, are probably going to succeed. So I'll just go straight to the conscience roll now. Uh, Hassan, what's your conscience? Well, my conscience is two. All right. Humanity is only four. Uh, you actually still feel 
uh, kind of bad about this. I see. You have not yet uh, managed to kill uh, that spark of your humanity within you yet. That's good. It's good and bad. Uh, you can't start trying to switch to a Path of Enlightenment until you're down <laughs> to Humanity 3. But as I said, you're not ready studying-wise in character to make the switch yet. So you want to try and position it so that you're going down to Humanity 3 right as you think you're ready to make the transition. <laughs> you don't want to start studying at Humanity 3. All right. Well, that's that then. So they so I'll... killed this poor bum? Well, not yet. But... That, was just, that was just left. He's on the call. And he's back online. <laughs> and he's typing. He's His laptop, on. okay. <laughs> it's unfortunate. All right. Well, I guess uh, we can just handle it... Uh... Hassan, you can just try and, you know, disable him if you want to. That may be faster. Uh, yeah, but the issue would be bringing him back with us. Not so much them taking him down. Yeah, I mean, you're not too far away from the Haven, and uh, as long as... If you can think of a way that doesn't do it messy, I mean, it is nighttime, so... You could make it seem like he's just passed out drunk or something. Uh, if I had like a baton or something, I'd probably whack him on the head from behind. Yeah, you could find like a some kind of sturdy object around. Sure, like a pipe. Yeah, let's yeah. do that. All you right. see, I don't want to kill him; just knock him out. All right. The blood stays fresh back. longer if, when you put him on the hook, he's still alive. I get it. <laughs> yeah, I'll find a pipe, sneer behind him, and uh, whack him over the head. All right. So he is basically uh, not really paying attention. So give me first a dexterity plus stealth roll. That's eight specialty and surprise attacks. All right. I actually count here. She also comes for the attack itself. And then uh, what is your strength? Uh, strength is only two. Okay. So you manage to uh, come up behind him. And uh, you hit him over the head. Um, he doesn't go out immediately. Um, but, uh, you know, Stalworth is, uh, Joseph is there basically to block his escape. And so you hit him a couple more times and eventually you put him down. All right. And now let's quickly head away. All right. So you were able to uh, get him back into the havens uh, pretty much safely. All right. And in there he goes. I'll take um, uh, two blood points. All right. And I'll clean myself up. That'll be it. All right. So you guys, uh, well, Justin, I hear it, but Lizzie, you can see that, uh, you know, Hassan and Joseph have obviously brought dinner back for everyone. Nice. Take a couple points. All right. And what is your current humanity? Five. All right, I'm also going to need a conscience roll from you. It's two. It's a weird you feel place. bad about this, too. That was double tens. <laughs> wow. wow. You feel terrible oh, about Jesus. this. Jesus, what have I become? <laughs> exactly. With all of this infernalism, you know, should I, am I, oh, possibly I might be tainted as well. Oh, my God. And, you know, this was... I shouldn't have taken... Not from Joseph. Oh, my goodness. I do feel terrible about this. All right. I can do this. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and uh, both of the twins will come up and take two points. So uh, Joseph uh, presumably gets two as well. <coughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, he's, he's probably dead then. All right. Oh, yeah. No, that guy's dead. He's completely out. All right, then. Well, I did my best. And as the one who brought him in, you're also the one who's in charge of... Disposal. Disposal afterwards. You've got, obviously, some time. You've got, like, a freezer set up, so you don't have to rush, but... Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. I suppose I could 
I have a knife, I can make this work. <laughs> um, you're going to have to do whatever you're planning on later, because around the time you get back, um, it's time to go to the Blood Feast. Yep. Alright then, but I'll at least put him somewhere so people don't find him when they walk in. <laughs> <laughs> well, in the lair, there's no one there but Sabat, but um, yeah, you can mm -hmm. put him in the freezer so he'll keep. He won't stink the place up. Yeah. Right. That's the bishop's main concern. I, just, I, just, I don't want him to be uh, in the um, cellar where other people would be. Ah. I don't want him to walk in there and see, oh, <laughs> probably, probably I want to stay here. <laughs> All right. To the blood feast, then. So I didn't get anywhere on my uh, dream Yes, so yeah, give me uh, an intelligence plus enigmas. So I forgot about that. Um, that's five. So, a couple of things that you know. Uh, you know, first of all, that uh, the dragon eating its own tail is the symbol of clan Zamitsi. Okay. Um, and you know that uh, the snake seemed to be a source of corruption. Mm-hmm. Um, and you do know, once you start thinking about the sign of clan Zamitsi, you know that the crown is also a symbol for clan La Sombra. Crown crushed the serpent, which was supposedly the clan's Mitzi. No, a serpent is not a symbol of clan's Mitzi. A dragon eating oh, its own tail. Is, okay, so this is dragon, not a serpent. Okay. A dragon is not a serpent. I was making them the same. Sorry. All right. So the Zamitsi turns into the crown of the Sombro crushes the serpent's head and the serpent is crept. So they're the infernalists. I'm going to say the serpents are the infernalists. I'm making that. Hmm. Well, that doesn't help me at all. So we got to work together. Zemitsi and Lysombra need to work together. That's one possible interpretation. I don't know. Anyway. All right. So, uh, I presume that Joseph will probably handle the driving to the uh, the blood feast. So you guys head out towards uh, the downtown area of Montreal, and you head into an area near a public park, and then there is a maintenance access which leads uh, down underground beneath the park and as you're starting to head down there it instantly starts to look much older um it's old catacombs and it looks kind of like uh obviously the catacombs beneath paris are probably the most famous example but it looks like that okay um and there are weird creepy skeletons and like niches all around and eventually uh you guys emerge out into the uh, Black Cathedral itself, hmm. which is a large uh, cathedral-looking structure underground. And you've been here before because the Library of uh, the Forgotten, as I think its name, is also down here. Okay. So, you come into the area. Really? You're back again? He's back again. So, you, uh, you guys head in, and there in the big mausoleum, uh, you can see that there are several humans hanging from hooks from the ceiling. Shut up. And, uh, yeah, it seems like there are already a number of Sabbat milling around, taking blood occasionally and talking to one another. Is there anybody I know? Um, there are a few people. There is the Archbishop there, obviously. Well, yeah, obviously I'm going to go up there and be obsequious. Um, and then there's her pack. And then you also see, uh, the Widow's Pack, which is Olivia. Okay. And mm -hmm. her group are also there. And those are the only people you her. really know. Say hello to both. Um, one person that you also recognize is, um... Zanatovich. 
the guy who runs the circus. Hmm. So once uh, he sees and Olivia see you, they both uh, come over to your group. And you can see that Xanatovich seems to have uh, a youngish girl with her. She looks about uh, 16, maybe 17. Um, and she's basically wearing rags. She looks dirty and disheveled. Well, whereas everyone else is dressed up kind of nice. Was Xanatovich a Zemitsi? I can't remember. Yes, he was. Okay. So, um, well, you know, she was your friend. Uh, well, that's what I was coming to talk to you about. And then Olivia says, uh, don't worry. She goes over to Son, kind of pats him on the shoulder, says, don't worry, I've made the arrangements. And then she walks off while Bartovich turns to the two of you and says, uh, well, here you go. And pushes her forward and then she kind of looks in confusion at you guys and then looks back at Zantovich and tries to go over back and hide behind him and he kind of pushes her forward again and says it's no good you're with them now I'm gonna look over expectantly at Hassan how old is this person um she looks like 16 or 17 all right then uh, hmm. It's not really what I had in mind. Yeah, I was hoping for a man in his 40s with a career. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that would, would have been a lot easier. I'll, uh, bow politely. Good evening, young one. I am Hassan. So she looks at you, and then she looks back up at Zantovich, and she actually falls to her knees, and you can see tears are streaming down her face as she's basically clutching at his legs. And he says, it's no good. We talked about this already. Do you want to... I can't have this discord. I'm an artist. I need an artist's space. I can't be held down with these mundane trivialities. And she looks up and she starts, you know, basically frantically shaking her head. And then he says, do you want, do you want to do what your uncle says? Do you want to go back and listen to your uncle? And then she kind of stops and is considering. He says, I didn't think so. You're with them now. And then he kind of kicks her off of his feet and then rolls her over towards you guys. Then I'll extend a hand to her so we can help her get back up. Um, she does not take your hand, but she does raise herself up. I see. So was it mentioned that she's mute, or is she just choosing not to speak? She does seem to be mute from what you've seen so far, although it could be some sort of trauma-related thing. Uh, huh. Wouldn't surprise me. And then, uh kind of turns back to you guys and he says, you know, I'm really sorry about what happened to Joseph's pack. I hope that this makes up for what my for the fact that we weren't able to get there fast enough. I would assume that's something she'll say to Joseph. Well, and he kind of sees where Joseph is off doing whatever he's doing. Yeah. Says uh, maybe later. Yeah, maybe later. <laughs> I will bring him your condolences. Yeah. They were some very polite young men. Mm. Hmm. All right. So he leaves. Uh, before he does that, I'll, I'll ask him one thing. Yeah. Uh, how exactly do you... Does she communicate with you? She does not appear to be capable of speech. Oh, um... Uh, she is, sometimes. Oh. She's really Let's good see. at talking to animals. Just the, you know... Took to that Let's immediately. See. 
didn't take to other things so much. Very well. Thank you. But yeah, no, if you want to yeah, keep her with your dogs or whatever, she would be, you know, happy as a clam there. I will see if something like that can be arranged. All right. And he walks off. Then I'll turn to the girl and ask her, So, you like animals, do you? And she is watching you very carefully. Um, it's pretty clear that she doesn't trust you at all. And then That's finally, not surprising. She cautiously nods her head. I see. Do you have any favorites? No. Uh, dog? Cat? I'll pause a bit after each suggestion to see if she nods her head. Right. She nods after dog. Okay. I see. Perhaps something can be arranged. I will look into it. Alright. And you were there, obviously, mm -hmm. with the chance to observe mm -hmm. this interaction. I was. I was watching it closely. Alright. So... Once that is finished, uh, the twins come over to you guys and says, uh, Yamamoto wants everyone to meet up in the family crypt. Okay. And so they lead you into off to the side of the major mausoleum where the meeting is taking place, where uh, there are obviously a series of crypts in the catacombs area. Um, and each of the sabbats seem packs seem to have kind of made their own crypt here in the communal cathedral. They're marked, some of them are marked with graffiti, some of them are marked with other ways, but basically packs of each proclaimed their ownership of a certain crypt. Does the girl seem used to this uh, environment? Um, she seems kind of used to it, but she seems a little bit dead-eyed, like she's not really... Really all there? Yeah. All right. Makes it easier in some ways. I suppose. <laughs> Alright. And once you guys are inside, um, you can find that uh, Jean and Joseph has been rounded up ahead of you. And everyone is there, uh, including Yamamoto, and inside of the Seven Samurai's Crypt, there was no, like, graffiti on the outside, but on the inside you can see that there are a series of pictures of different types of um, people. Um, and some of them, uh, Lizia, you recognize as kind of, they sort of match the description of some of the pack members who you guys are replacing. Um, and then there are others <clears throat> stretching back into, um, like, black and white photographs. Um, in addition to that, you can see that there are a number of uh, sort of oriental decorations around. There are uh, katanas mounted on the wall. Um, you can see that there's a wardrobe, and inside everyone has dressed into uh, kimonos. And you can also see there's a big movie poster for The Seven Samurai. Nice. And so there's just kind of like some furniture. It's kind of set up as like a sitting room, kind of trophy room area. All right. So, uh, Yamona says, why don't you make yourselves more comfortable? Points to the, uh, the kimonos. And, uh, we'll take the picture. And you can see on the wall, besides the, like, solitary pictures of each member... Um, each group, every several uh, uh, amount of time, like decades or so, there will be a new group picture. And you'll notice that a significant number of the personnel have changed in each one. How how far back does it go with Yamamoto? Like, how, how far back does he show up? Um, you can find Yamamoto seems to have been there since the black and white photos you're not sure what date those are mm -hmm. um but you know that it's it looks to be at least uh sort of a world war ii ish okay. time period and the twins are they new from the uh, from uh the twins were there in the previous iteration but mm -hmm. nothing before that okay. 
So, once you guys are all there, he has you guys. And you also notice, uh, in addition to, most of them are pictures, like actual photograph pictures. But there are at least two of them that you see that are actual, like, portraits, like painted portraits. So before photography kind of thing. No, they are in the middle, actually. Oh. Okay. So it's, I mean, they have, a, like, some sketch pads and stuff there. It's probably for La Sombra, who cannot uh, appear in. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. So. Oh, excellent. And Justice back. So they took you guys into the uh, family crypt for your pack, where there are pictures of everyone. Um, and they're getting ready to take your picture to put it up on the wall. Alrighty. And you said they got something special so I can see myself? Um, basically, they're not going to take a picture of you. They're going to have you painted. And you can see that there is someone there who's not a member of the Seven Samurai who's there with like a... And he's sketching. Real yeah, quickly. he's already to put you. going to work. Of course, it's going to be uh, your sire's face since you Damn still it. have not had... <laughs> I mean, if you want to do the alterations... I, I totally I, I, would. I didn't I'm, I'm up for it. So... Do you want to stop the proceedings? Have me have me alter you quickly. Uh, would Yamamoto be okay with that? Yeah, it'll take time for the, your painting to occur. Anyway, we can start taking pictures of everyone else in the meantime. Oh yeah, then, yeah, let's do it then. All right. Okay. So I will give me a dexterity plus body crafts. All right, that is five. All right, so yeah, you uh, start fixing him up, and you. How easy you... is it? Hmm. How easy is it? Is it um, easy? No, it's normal. Normal. Okay. Um, a lot of the stuff is just you undoing what someone else did, so it it's not too hard. Um, you're not sure if you got it exactly right, but he's definitely a lot closer to what he looked like than before. Okay. There, I mean, it's you you're, you're working a off a license driver's license photo, ID so, so it's hard to tell if it's exact. Your face is now pretty much always a driver's <laughs> license. Photo. You always look like a driver's license. <laughs> That's horrifying. Well, it's, it's good to be me again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I look at you. I give you a little glance to the side there. Yeah, right. So the <laughs> Yamamoto takes the pictures of each of you and then um the uh, female twin takes the, or uh, no, he's already got his picture up there. Yeah. Um, but he takes the pictures of each of you, in turn, puts them up on the wall. He's got frames and everything ready for you. And then finally, they're ready for the uh, the group shot, and uh, so everyone's kind of positioned around Joseph, kind of like leaning on him or touching him, just so that you can know that he's there. Mm -hmm. Um. But other than that, it's just a big group shot. So you guys, and for some reason, uh, there's also the girl there as well. Sure. Uh, Who's so, the girl? The girl. Oh, Hassan got a pet. Oh yeah. So when you were just waiting in the family crypts for Hassan and Lizia to catch up, and when they came in, they had a teenage girl with them, dressed in like rags. Did I ever get her name? Uh, nope. <laughs> like a human? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, Hassan. I don't like the sound of that. I don't like the what what you're implying there. No, so, no, I'm sorry. I understand. I understand. <laughs> I especially don't like the way you're saying that. At least you just got a big old smile. Uh, I'll I'll sort of got her from him. <laughs> uh, hey, well, welcome to the group, Hassan. <laughs> So, you guys take the big group shot with everyone there, and uh, the, you know, the guy doing the painting does it for you. And uh, once you guys are finished, he just goes back to painting. Um, he basically, he took, like, did some sketches and stuff, for, like, reference images for what Joseph looked like, but after that, he basically is going to do it on his own. 
And yeah, you guys are in the all crypt. Right. Hanging out in the crypt, I'll, I'll give it a look-see. All right. So yeah, while you're here, you can find there's a lot of kind of mementos in there, some like some trophies, and it seems like obviously it was meaningful at the time, although you're not sure what a lot of them do. Like there's a set of like uh, fangs that have been pulled out of someone that are just there on display. So there's, there's no, like, little placard down below that gives us... No, there's no description or anything. It's just the items that so are there. I'm just, uh, if I can, I'll ask Yamamoto if he knows the yeah, history he'll, behind these items. He'll give you a couple of just interesting vignettes, tidbits. A little yeah. vignettes of... Ah, so this was Freddy's fangs. And, uh, um, and... Yeah, one of the most, uh, probably the most distinguished uh, story he tells... Of is when they actually killed the prince of uh, a major city in uh, on the west coast during the Anarch revolts. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's kind of the major legacy. Wow. But that was a while ago. That was like fifty years ago. All right. Well, impressive. Most impressive. And after you guys have all just kind of had a chance to relax, he turns back towards the group and says, Now, Hassan has failed an assignment. I'll take off the blood point. <laughs> uh, you don't have to take off the blood point quite yet, but get ready. <laughs> well, I might as well just do it now, then. <laughs> he says, Um... I bow my head in shame. I asked him to take a number of objects from each of you and then return them without suspicion. From my consultations, some of you have noticed him acting strangely. He did not uh, fail in any of the uh, explicitly... Uh, stay at objectives, but he did not succeed in remaining totally unnoticed. To correct this mistake, I am going to give him the opportunity to prove his worth through other means. When stealth fails us, we must resort to direct action. Alicia is having so much trouble containing herself right now. To that Before end... Joy. <laughs> she does. I do. That's the problem. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> to that end, I am going to give Hassan the option to prove his worth in front of all of the assembled Sabbat if he is able to do so. What would you have me do? If you wish, you may voluntarily subject yourself to a test of pain to be held publicly in the mausoleum. I see. Oh, you gotta stop. <laughs> stop clapping! <laughs> if that is what it takes, then I will do so. Very well. As pack priest, Lysia will be the one to administer <laughs> she is dancing. the pain. Oh, that's... Mm. You will be whipped publicly. Um, and from out of a small chest, he removes uh, basically a cat of nine tails with uh, serrated metal implanted into the edges. Oh. Well, that's bad. <laughs> he also pulls out a large bag of salt. Oh, that's... Oh, fuck. It's gonna yeah. pull out a lemon next. <laughs> <laughs> you will subject yourself to uh, lashing uh, at least um, well, you will go to, at most, ten lashes. You may end whenever you feel that the penance has been fulfilled, but I will not allow uh, you to go past ten lashes. Okay, so it's, it's going to be ten lashes then. <laughs> can, I, can I grab a stick or something to bite into? Uh, no, obviously not. That would be All right, then. unfair. You'd be giving yourself an advantage. Who? So, you will make the announcement before all of the assembled Sabbat within the mausoleum that you wish to do this. 
uh, that I wish to be subjected to or that, that she wishes to do it? That you wish uh, to prove your devotion to the sect through an act of, pis- of through receiving pain. Pis- uh, physical pain. Yes. If, of course, that is what you wish to do. I will do so. I will now note this honor on my behalf. All right. Very well, then. Perhaps we should return to the mausoleum so that you can make your announcement. Very well. All right. So she gives the... You have to carry both the salt. It's a big old salt bag. It's like a full one. Mm-hmm. And the... It's going to be buried in fucking salt. <laughs> And everyone tromps back into the mausoleum together. All right, then. Got to see if there's something I got to say beforehand. I don't think so. Is there? I think it's just... I think it's just you. And maybe stating your crime as you undergo whatever. Well, this isn't necessarily a crime. This is just a... Well, his failure. Or his... Or a failure, even. I mean, it's really just like a... Oh, and way I didn't. I didn't himself. succeed fully. Yes. Okay. Well, that's why you don't have to take out the blood point yet. If you're able to prove it here, then you will have erased that. I see. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. So this is just so it will. Okay. okay. Then I will just. You he know. didn't get one hundred percent, and this is his extra right, credit well then, opportunity. Well, then I'm going to have to spout some <laughs> some something about Cain. Um, while wow, American college, am I right? <laughs> while, I'm, while I'm beating him and, and throwing salt on his wounds. So I will go out there and I will announce. In order to pay for a mistake I have made, I will willingly subject myself to a test of pain. So um, the Archbishop kind of looks around at all the assembled people, and as you announce this in a booming voice, you know, everyone kind of stops and looks at you. And then... Dem- the Archbishop nods and says, We will witness this test of your metal. All right, then. So I'll get down on my knees, and I'll take off my shirt to reveal my bare back, and wait. And needless to say, also, I didn't actually mention this, but healing during this is obviously forbidden, because you need to accept and feel the pain until the lashes are completely finished. Yes. All right. Uh, I don't suppose I'm allowed to buff my stamina beforehand or anything. Uh, no, that would be against cheating. it. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. So, oh, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be really bad. I'll tell you how it's gonna go in a minute. So is this? Uh, is is a whip? Oh, why do I have brawl instead of melee? Why did I have? Oh, because of my claws. I suppose I am allowed to use willpower, since that's thematically correct here. Yes, willpower is correct. Right, so, can I just expend, let's say, three willpower points over the course of it? Well, you're going to have to decide where you're going to spend them. This is going to take several rolls. Okay. So, there are going to be a number of stages. First, um, you're not going to need melee, because okay. you're he's not dodging you. You're just going to hit him. I'm just like smacking him. Yeah. So, it's right. going to be uh, just your strength is going to deal the damage. Then we're going to have uh, Hassan is going to roll his stamina to try and soak the damage. Then we're going to need a self-control roll after each, or at least the later ones. Um, The difficulty is going to start low enough that it's not going to matter. But as you're getting up there, you're going to have to make a self-control roll to avoid going into frenzy. Okay. And then uh, finally, you may have to uh, spend a willpower point in order to... Or make a willpower roll in order to simply continue if it comes, if you're having difficulties avoiding frenzy. Okay. All right. All right. So, do I have time to snag a little snack, or um, or we're just going on with this, or because I pumped my blood up because I need, <laughs> this to, I need this to be good. All right. So, I, but we're at a blood feast. I'm assuming I can yes. get some back. Okay. I figured uh, doing this and going on with it would be curvature related, not self control. That's me. Um, <laughs> no, it's not really courage because you're not af- th- afraid so much because you know you're probably not going to die. Hopefully, um, it's more <laughs> anger. Well, now I'm afraid. It's more like self control because you're going to go into frenzy and be like, "Stop hitting me!" and basically attack 
the priest. It's more of an anger frenzy than a fear frenzy. Uh, and self control is not too high. Covers both. Well, then we may be spending willpower points. This is <laughs> why I said you may want to decide where the willpower points are spent. All right. Okay. I'm ready. Oh. All right. I, I think I am too. So if you basically, if you fail the self control rule, then you can, as long as it's not a botch, you can then spend a willpower point to basically make it a success. Okay. All right. So we are starting with Lysia's strength. Okay. Five. All right. What? It's been buffed up, obviously. Really? Mm hmm. And we have the Cat and Nine Tails as well, which adds. It's ex extraordinarily cruel of you. Unless you want me. <laughs> <laughs> it could be in the near future. All right. So what is your stamina? Stamina is free. I don't think I have any kind of other soak, so just free. Okay. So, uh, you take uh, one point of damage to start off with. All right. Uh, now, what is your self-control? Two. All right, no rolls yet. You just basically... Right the Yeah, you whip and throw the salt on, and Hassan, basically, you don't even move. I mean, there's a slight flinch the first time you feel it. But you have this suspicion that Lysia may have bolstered her strength for this. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you'll be writing those down a point. And at any point, um, if, of course, you don't want to use your full strength, you don't need to every single time. Okay. So if, can... for some reason, you start to feel bad. Okay. What would happen if I were to run out of health points during this? You would go into torpor. Right, would that be considered a success of the test, or would I fail completely? If uh, you would go into torpor, then you would lose the blood. <laughs> <laughs> so. I, oh, figured, I, just, I figured that would be showing that I would be willing to give it my all. Yeah. Just for it also medically, shows that, that you uh, are too much of a pussy to take it all the way, though. You're too weak. So don't go in. It's better. I know it's better. It's better than giving up. Is what it's I'm better than giving up. Yes. On the list okay. of ways you could fail, I guess it's higher than <laughs> others. It is thematically the best way to fail. Poor Hassan. All right. All right. But you say as you whip me with both I mean, I mean, As there is a gleam in her eyes. This is the best no part. Idea. You have no <laughs> idea. This is the, yeah. No. If I were down in wow, when did you get potence? All right. So I'd be back up but now, but all right. So anyway, second hit, she smacks him. Still five? Five. Okay. Stamina, two. Three. 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 Don't, don't make it worse. <laughs> he needs as many dice as he can Just get. checking. <laughs> and of course, if any willpower points you want to spend, just scream them out. Not yet. All right. You take no damage from the second strike. All right. Okay. There's no self-control roll necessary All right. yet. Alright, so I, I'm dancing whatever, screaming about Kane, and I whip him a third time. Five. Alright. And what is your current uh, blood rating? Hassan. Blood rating? What do you mean? How many blood points do you have? Oh, seven. Alright, can I just see that for a second? I want to make sure... All right. Yeah. So we going again. Mm-hmm. All five. Yeah, all five. Okay. The third one. This is just to keep track. This is the third whip. Yeah. Probably leaves you should be counting. Down, so this is keeping my third track. One. All right. Okay. And three stamina. Yeah. It's two steps. You don't have to work to have to right. remember them. <laughs> I'm just... It's just to build, you know. The... You could try and cheat by boosting your stamina if you No, want. no, I will not. I will not. All right. You do not take... I accept, I accept full responsibility for my actions. Okay. You do not take any damage, but I am going to start rolling your self-control now. Okay. All right. No problem. Still, the salt right. goes oh. on. 
Lysia is so proud of you. It feels awful. <laughs> Still no visible signs. <laughs> oh, very minor physical signs of distress from Hassan. Okay. All right. All right. So we're on to number four. All right. Step five. You take one point of damage. All right. All right. And then we're going to roll the self-control. Still? No. Hang in there. Yeah, a little bit of twitching. Maybe a little, maybe a little grunt. Yeah. Okay. Still going. All right. All right. I'm very impressed. Five with five <laughs> <laughs> halfway uh-huh all right all right you take no damage all right control still holding on okay Okay, halfway. <laughs> <laughs> it's starting to feel real bad, though. <laughs> All right. Ah, oh, blah, 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 blah. Kane and the six hit. Yeah, if there's any, like, you know, theatrics you want to put on these. Yeah, no, that's what I, I don't have my spouting about, you know. Cain's strength, and he overcame Lilith, and Cain's strength, and he overcame And you shall know my name is the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. All righty. All right. You take two points of damage. Oh, my. From this oh, one. that's bad. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, that one hurt. That, that one hurt. That one hurt. <laughs> Self-control. What number are we on? Six? We're on six, yeah. No, that, that was the sixth hit. Yep, that was the sixth one. So, three more. Three All right, more. so you are, basically, you go down, like, forehead down on the ground, like, in pain after this one. Like, everyone sees, like, every muscle you have is as tensed as it possibly can be. Obviously, so is that a willpower point to continue? If you want to spend a willpower point to, yeah, to do that in order to continue. I will. All right. So, you get up. And so you can see that he was basically okay. down. But he got back Theoretically, up. you have to wait for him to mm -hmm. be in the appropriate kneeling Get position. The appropriate position. I, I am prepared, unfortunately. Okay. All right. All right. It's kind of weak, and I may have got four more to go. So I'll do, I'll do. I'll go down to four on this one. Maybe hold back a little bit. You gonna hold back? I don't actually want him to fail his failure test. Mm-hmm. If I die, if, if I pass out too quickly, she won't be able to go for the full 10 hits. Yeah. On the other hand, it might be spiritually beneficial for him to go... I mean, the point is to go all the way to the edge. As, don't try to help her. As far as it goes. She was allowed to stop at any point. Yeah, but I think her first reaction... Uh, she's got four more strokes. Okay. She may come to that conclusion. But, but for the I immediate her, one... Her immediate one, all right. I think, is that she pulls back a little. On the next one. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. So we're doing four. Okay. Makes sense. On the seventh. All right. So I'm not even going to make you roll your stamina. You can feel, Hassan, you don't take any damage. You can feel there's a slight lessening in the pressure from Lysia. I see. And now you're like, oh, she does like me. <laughs> <laughs> the question, I'm like, doesn't she like me anymore? <laughs> or the thing is, is that this is for your spiritual enlightenment. I don't know. Yeah, are, so you gonna, are you going to say lessening. anything? All right, so... I will say nothing. This is her decision to make. Are you sure? I mean, it's about this you. This is her decision to make, sure. <laughs> <laughs> is it really a victory? It's really... If yes, it is. Yes, it is. 
<gülüyor> Yesedi yes Shaq. <gülüyor> Şaşırma. Alright. Alrighty. Alrighty. She's it's gonna be like a soccer game. Is it really a victory if the other team got a goal? <laughs> oh, I actually forgot. Um, Because they did two. You also, when you took those uh, two points of damage, you also lost two blood points. Okay. Okay. All right. So I'll. I'm watching him. Keep okay. him close eye mm -hmm. on him. Does he? And time so, for, time for, it's a time for stroke number eight or well, seven now. It's time for your self control roll. Okay. Even after one that didn't hurt at all? So uh, well, it, it hurt. It still hurt, but it didn't do any damage to you. And you could tell that She still was... poured a ton more salt on your open wounds. <laughs> okay, fair <laughs> enough. Massive pain. Even if she didn't open up any more. Uh, yes, though, you are able to pass. All right. All right. All right, well, he seems to have recovered himself. Three right. strikes left. You have three of them yet left, yes. So. How many? Oh. Uh, I think we still just do four on this. I don't know that she's quite committed to the uh to but she's getting there. She's on her way, but she's still hmm, a little unsure. We'll do it another four. All right. Again, I'm not going to require a stamina roll. Uh you don't take any damage. Um, and again, you can feel it's it's lighter than the initial blows. All right. Now, self control. All right. Still fine. All right. My heart is racing <laughs> so, so hard. After two, where he hasn't reacted at all, mm -hmm. Yamamoto looks at you and says, "Fucking hit him." Very well. I was going to anyway, because I figured he'd recover himself. So nine is the full five. Okay. All right. I'll use a willpower point in the stamina roll if it comes to that. All right. Yeah, we're doing a stamina roll, all right. You spend a yeah. willpower point on it? I will. All right. So, you take two points of damage. Oh, fuck. And lose two blood points. And there's going to be a self-control roll. Right. You make it. But you are, All like, right. basically sweating blood. It's just pouring down your face. I'm at minus six health points. <laughs> you know. All right. Yep. All righty. All righty. Number ten. Five. Will power point in defense? And as he, you are about to whip it, he says, the two before this, Yamo says the two before this didn't count. Give him, oh. give him two more. Okay. Unless you want to quit. <sighs> I'll shake my head. <laughs> <laughs> Feels good. That's not fair. <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> All right. So. All right, five. All right. Will PowerPoint. Will PowerPoint. <laughs> All right. Uh, you take one point of damage. That's minus seven then. All right. So where does that take you to? He's incapacitated. Incapacitated? You can still continue. You're not in torpor yet. All right. Well, but one more is torpor, right? Yep. You're on the brink. <laughs> I made it least... to ten, though. <laughs> That's not count. fair. See, yeah, so if you had, you had told her, if you, you had spoken said... up. All, All right, right. self-control roll. Wow, that's a pass. Okay, wow, that was a <laughs> That was a roll. All right. I'm taking this shit. Not very well, but I'm taking it. <laughs> yeah, taking it to the grave. So it okay. it takes him a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, before he gets back up into position, mm -hmm. finally, unsteadily moves back into position for another one. Okay. All right. So this is number eleven, five. All right. 
<laughs> Damn's going past him. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, because I I was well, nice to him and I I let up on a couple of them and Yamamoto said nope, two more. Well, PowerPoint. Oh, nice. oh. All right. You soak it. And nice. I'm gonna need another uh, self control roll. So. All more. right. So Joseph, while you're watching this, what do you think? Is Oh, I'm thinking this is this is terrible. This is horrible. Like the cruelty. <laughs> but aren't you? But aren't you impressed though? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm very impressed that, that you're that you're taking this. So Hassan, you do not go into frenzy. Do you wish to place yourself in position to take another one? I will take one. another one. I will take the last one. So remember, Hassan did this because you know he didn't quite succeed. You better hope he never fail. Just this wasn't a failure. This was I didn't get a full perfect. Yeah. All right. All the way. All the way. All the way. Uh, you you gonna up. spend a willpower point on this? Oh, <laughs> I might, right? Because I get one back from this, so. <laughs> willpower point on defense. All right. All right. All right. No damage. All right. <laughs> I'm the best. And self-control. Well, that's not even that. It's over now. Well, you do feel yourself... Uh, you could still go into frenzy. Okay. okay. Uh, and you do feel like you are about to lose control. It's going to take a willpower point. Willpower point. point. Willpower point. Okay. <laughs> and that's my last willpower point, too. <laughs> I was going to say, you're like... Do you place yourself in position to accept another one? That's the last one, though. He specifically said. But... That is. But do you place yourself... In position to accept another one. Should he decide to give you one? I will. <laughs> I look at Yamamoto expectantly. This guy's so, hardcore. Says enough. You have proved your discipline. You may heal yourself. Okay, I don't have to run for that though. <laughs> <laughs> Instinctively, uh, like as much I'll blood heal, as you I'll can heal. spend. Uh, uh, can I take? Can I just go back from incapacitated to fucking crippled? Yeah, <laughs> and limp over okay. to, a, um, to a vessel. Basically, as soon as he tells, I mean, you kind of went into frenzy. You were holding it off with a willpower point, but as soon as he says it's over, you're scrambling over to get the blood and just feeding off of the bodies. I'd like to get a okay. too if I could. <laughs> it doesn't look dignified. You're basically <laughs> you're leaving beaten early to hell this evening with blood dripping down the front of you. But you are able to basically hold your current blood level, maybe gain a couple, and then heal yourself to full. No one okay. is going to say that you can't have as much as you want. Okay, so how much can I get up to while also going full? Um, I'm, at, uh, there's enough I'm at minus seven and I have three points. Alright, there's enough that you can get yourself back up to five and fully heal yourself. Okay, I'll do that then. Five is the level where you're not uh, hungry uh, you're not so hungry that you're in frenzy anymore. Okay, yeah, let's do that. All right. All right. Oh, this was a bad night. It's a good night. <laughs> and so Elysia recovers a point of willpower. Yes, I didn't have any. For fulfilling her nature. I'll lose seven, uh, spend uh, uh, ten blood points, I think. How many willpower no, uh... points did you spend altogether? Spent nine blood points and six willpower points and not spent <laughs> one blood point. <laughs> but you succeeded. Mm -hmm. You did not fail. I protected my honor. <laughs> and, and much more importantly, the honor of my clan. <laughs> All right. No one had better say shit about the fucking Asimites. <laughs> The yes, Asimite anti tribute at least. I will kick my own ass so hard at you. Listen, this is what we do when we don't get a perfect. <laughs> we want to know what we do to ourselves when we fuck up. So after a little while, you have people kind of coming up and congratulating you most of the night um, for that little display. And uh, eventually, one of the guys comes up to you. Um, and you don't recognize him. 
as anyone you've met before, but he introduces himself as uh, Tony Hodo. Says right, let me write that down. That he's uh, basically one of, he's the ductus of the Cryptics, which are a new uh, pack, a nomad pack that just came in for the opening of the litany. Um, a ductor of the Cryptics? Yeah, a ductus of the Cryptics. Uh, spelled crypt ticks uh, and he says that was a hell of a show thank you uh, you know my pack we uh, were you know new around here uh, we would be very interested in meeting your pack I see and I sharing a vault let them know of this I will let them know of this. Yeah. That was a hell of a show. And he kind of I'm glad you enjoyed it. Wanders off back into the crowd. So yeah. It is... In that case, I will let the... Uh, we'll see you know about this. Oh, and uh, Stalworth, while you were out, uh, you had the opportunities to gain, I think, four blood points altogether. Thank you. I'll take it. All right. You killed somebody. You know. Oh, that's right. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. What? I didn't do your conscience roll. What's your conscience? I killed somebody. Yeah. Well, Hassan brought the person that you were going out to hunt back into the uh, pack lair to feed everyone, and so you were kind of responsible for the death of a human. Well, shit. I have a conscience of one. All right. <laughs> You're a good guy. You actually feel wow, some guilt that. over this. You, you did. Wow. You're very guilty. You do not degenerate. <laughs> yes. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll go searching for Lysia. Uh, what is your current humanity, by the way, uh, Stalworth? Four. All right. Yep. So, um... He needs a path. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so he you find Lysia. So. And, and it's Lysia. Just Lysia. For that's, uh, Lucilla was my other character. Lysia. All right. It's, it's kind of a combination Lysia. of... Yes. All right, Lysia, then. I'll go and see you. Go. Right. Good day to you. <laughs> Thank you for whipping me. <laughs> <laughs> I do try and suppress a smile because that just seems a little incongruous after the whole whipping. <laughs> But I will say... Uh, I, 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 I am not really smiling. I'm more like... No, I know you're I'm not. I'm really tired. I'm really tired. <laughs> no, I'm I get that. I'm just saying Lysia just she does stifle a laugh and says, Good day to you, too. <laughs> there is a person by the name of Tony Hodo, the, a doctor of the cryptics. He wishes to meet our pact and perform a valtery. I figured you would like to know. Oh, huh. yes. That would be... Fine, let's inform the bishop. Let us do that. Alright, so you find him uh, talking with the archbishop when he sees you guys waiting for him. He just excuses himself a moment to come over to you guys. And uh, asks, you know, he says, obviously you have something you want to talk to me about. So, yes. Yeah. Uh, will you say or should I? Uh, no, you go ahead. I'll look at you expectantly. Okay. A person by the name of Tony Hodo who calls himself the Doctor of the Cryptics, wishes to meet with our pact and perform a Valdery. Him and his pact. I see. Well, uh, I have business to conduct with the Archbishop, but you can round up the rest of the pack and go with him. Very the Blood well. Feast is basically over anyway. <coughs> right then. Uh, what about the girl I was met with? Uh, I'm not asking him that. I'm asking our character. I mean, I assume you've been keeping an eye on her. I have. Joseph uh, kind pro of... Pro probably not while I was getting whipped, but... Joseph kind of kept a... Uh, yeah, you probably... Kept a hold of her. Make sure yes. she doesn't run off her anywhere. Off. Indeed. Put her on a leash. So yeah, she's still with you. All right, then. Just wanted to make sure she's safe. Yeah. Well, as safe as you can be in mm -hmm. a place like this. Care, you know. Yeah. All right. Joseph's a good guy. He'll he'll look out for her. <laughs> he likes you. <laughs> if I can just uh, do one of my favorite quotes from Stalworth, I'm barely human. 
<laughs> Which is why I was like, he Other than that, he's a good guy. <laughs> Other than that. All right. <laughs> okay. Well, this was been a, this has been a good night. All right, we're going to end with a Valdry. Yeah. So you guys head out and um I guess since they invited us if they have a priest. I'm yeah. Let them do that. So they take you uh out into the uh you know, city. And they um they go out in the buildings and they eventually you're just kind of wandering around for a little while. Um, eventually the pack priest, uh, spots a, points up at a building and says, I think this one will work. And they go over one of the pack members, goes up, reaches up, grabs a, uh, the fire escape, and then uses his weight to pull it down. And you guys can all start walking up. Okay. And once you guys are up on the roof, their priest, uh, begins chanting. Um, and it sounds just kind of like babble to you. You're not really sure what language it could be. But he starts babbling over a cup, which looks like, um, it's like a clay cup. It doesn't look really finished. It looks kind of, um, amateur, it's definitely amateurly made. Mm -hmm. And so then he starts handing it around to all of his pack members, and they all bleed into it. And then they hand it over to you guys. Okay. And once everyone is bled into it, it returns to the pack priest, who then holds it up in the air, and then he places it down and says, as part of our uh, pack traditions, before each person drinks, we also hold the ritual of confession. So each of you uh, should tell us, um, normally, since we all know each other, we all just say uh, whatever our most recent accomplishment is, but... In this case, when we share with other packs, uh, everyone declares what they feel their greatest contribution to the sect has been, or the most glorious feat they have performed. And so uh, he does it, and he talks about uh, one time where he was part of a war pack which killed a important Tremere primogen, who was also a regent of a city down in the south during the one of the smaller cities during the uh, uh, East Coast Crusade. Very nice. And then he passes it to the others, and most of them are not as impressive as that, but they're different, you know, elders, mostly killed on the East Coast Crusade. And then finally it comes around to your pack. Uh, real quick, any of the stuff I did um, in my background with my sire, would, I, would that be stuff I could mention here, or would that be uh, that would secret? Be, um... Probably you could mention most things. Uh, I'm sure you did some secret stuff too, but if you have something in particular that you want to bring up. I figured bringing these two clan, uh, packs together with that display might also be a good one. Yeah. So it's up to you. Um, the twins go first, and uh, they both uh, go together, and they both uh, talk about... Um, a recent raid on a Tremere Chantry in, um, in Ottawa, where they, uh, killed a Tremere regent. Um, and that was, you know, the, the battle where, uh, most of the pack died. Mm. And then they take the Valdry, and then it passes around to, uh, Hassan. All right, then. I'll lift it up and I'll go bringing together this very situation with my last display. I'll take a sip, pass right. it around. And Lysia? I've never really killed anybody. It's also, you can mention stuff that you did as part of a pack thing, too. Like whipping me. <laughs> I'll say that's probably my greatest is to be Priest. I don't know how to phrase that, though. <laughs> Usually it's a single event. For instance, I mean, Joseph hasn't gone yet, so you could steal before him, but something like killing the Infernalist um, would count, or the, the oh, traitor. That was my other thing, is when we were, yeah, the traitor yeah. From, the, from the circus. So, yeah, I'll tell him that story. All right. 
How do you? Oh, I would have to let me go back to my notes. I don't know what my notes were. So, um, so yeah, so we were on the trail of infernalism, and and tracked well, down. Well, the... do you mention the infernalism part? You know that he was a traitor. traitor. He was a traitor that betrayed a previous pack. Another pack. Anyway, tracked him down and killed him. Any more flowery? Yeah, I was going to say, I I haven't had time to think of my flowery... Hmm... Try to remember what happened. Well, you don't have to give, uh, like, an exact... Out, I mean, you're telling a story. Put self-inflicted you, misery. How about that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're just telling a story. You don't have to be like, and then, this isn't a report. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. How would you describe it I'm in a way still, that I'm, makes you sound important? But, but see, I wasn't the important one there. Unless it doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, well, it doesn't matter. It's to make you sound like you were contributing so things. So I could just it's make called crap storytelling. Up. I could just make crap up. About... Yes. But let my pack members know I'm lying. Do I want that to? I mean, it's accepted that it's storytelling. <laughs> Roll play it out, god damn it. <laughs> You're well, like, waiting. All right. Everyone's looking expectantly at you. Just, I know, and I'm like going and I'm trying to figure out where to start. So, um, all right. So, so there was a trader um, working with the Tremere. We all know how much we hate them. And, uh, and he betrayed a pack that was completely wiped out. But we tracked him down because he was with the circus. Whatever his name is. Whatever helped us to find him. And after torturing many witnesses. <laughs> quick glance over at Joseph. We located this traitor. And hunted him through the subway tunnels underneath the sewage tunnels underneath and right. and and found him as he was attempting to escape with his Zamitsi brethren um or with his Tremere sorry his Tremere brethren who eventually abandoned him and we slaughtered him there in the tunnels all right oh and I'm I should be rolling uh vinculums for everyone I forgot to do that before we begin so I'm going to write it do the rolls and then write them down for you guys. Let me look up what everyone's names are in this pack. Okay. So their names are. So there is uh, Jack Knife. He is the pack priest. Jack Knife, right? And there is uh, Tony Hodo. The Ductus. And then the regular members are Leo Washington. Uh, what Washington? Leo Washington. Leo, all right. Leo. Ah. As in lion. Right. Dancer. And... Jose Cedillo. (coughs) 
Alright, so I am uh, PMing you guys. Your scores right now. Alright. Huh. Alright. <laughs> You're blood bound to somebody else, Star Wars. So I've sent Miles's, I'm sending Stalworths, and I'm going to write down Lysia's. And so, Stalworth, what is your story going to be? Stalworth? I'm sorry. Um, can you can you repeat them? Yeah. So, as part of the Valdry, uh, they always do the confessions ritual. So everyone says their. Uh, whatever feat they are most proud of before they drink the Valdry. Oh, well. Let's see. Who, um... Who melded my arms and legs into my body? Oh, that was me. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, the, uh, traitor, uh, I had the, um... The great pleasure of uh, helping uh, helping the coterie find the uh, traitor by dispensing information uh, to them. <laughs> that is uh, my most proud feat. I see. Interesting. All right. So once uh, you guys have all shared blood, you guys all start to experience the effects of the vinculum, and even if it's just a little bit for some people, you're definitely more fond of everyone in the group. Oh, that's right. I forgot to roll for you guys yeah, for each we, other as well. We increase. Let me do that as well. Let me just pull up my list of what you guys are already at so I know the difficulty. I was going to say, I know I've upgraded mine All a right. couple of times. Do you want my actual... Because um, we've been drinking from everybody. Yeah, I think I've been keeping these up to date. All right. Uh, Lysia, you're, uh, you like the female twin a little bit more. Okay. You like Hassan a little bit more. All right. That's not surprising. And you like Joseph a little bit more. Alright, still look like Jean. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, fuck Jean. His, his, his rating is really low. That's why I, I keep thinking that one's it going It keeps up. being exactly as low as it needs to be, too. Oh my goodness, okay. Alright, so, <laughs> Hassan. I'm gonna go up and it doesn't. Uh, the female twin goes up by one. Is that including the uh, two it's already gone up by? Uh, yes. Hmm. You're getting real fond of her. <laughs> it started off not so much, but... No, you kind of like her. But she is still on the low side compared to everyone else. Yeah, yeah. compared to everyone I'm, else. I'm, sure. I'm, I'm good friends with all of you. I like all of you a lot. Uh, Jean goes up by one. Uh, I'm gonna be the only person that doesn't like Jean. <laughs> anyone else? Um, I'm checking right now. I'd be surprised if it did. No. <laughs> Fuck <Yeah>. Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. And uh, I, I, I already like you. Don't worry about it. Oh, okay. All right. 
So, uh, the female twin goes up by one. She is just the, the bell of the ball. Mm -hmm. uh, you, Hassan goes up by one. And that's it. Thank you. All right. So those were the only ones for Star Wars that could. Oh, and I'm right? going to roll everyone's. So, uh, Joseph, what is your stamina? That is two. Okay. And all right, no miles is three. Rolled in a lot. All right. I'm going to send each of you a secret message. Because you're loving the vicissitude. Uh-huh. Fuck vicissitude. It's my gift to you all. Uh, can I return it? Mm -mm. Mm. All right, so I'm sending the message to Stallworth. Mikhail kind of turned me off of Assistitude forever, I think. And Miles. <laughs> like, I've had my fill with it. Yeah, just wait till it infects you. you uh, I don't think I ever will. All right, and Miles, there's your secret message. All right. All right. So once that's over, uh, you guys are sitting around, and uh, the uh, the ductus Tony Hodo kind of looks at you guys and then says, "Hmm. So you guys must be pretty tough." Well, I, I should hope so. I'm we assuming, try. I'm, I'm assuming the men are going to posture here. Tough enough, maybe, for a game of football? I believe I have had my fill for tonight, but thank you for the opportunity. The rest of you may, of course, choose to engage. Well, it is a team-based sport, so if your pack decides they want to, you may get roped in. Hmm. I'm down for it. Both of the twins are very anxious to do so. Uh, all right, then. All right. Tony uh, looks around and says, first, we're going to need a ball. Uh, how about that one? And then he points at uh, the girl that you're supposed to be taking care of, Hassan. That is not an option, I'm afraid. All right. <clears throat> Wouldn't want to disturb your girlfriend, then. Uh, well, he kind of looks over the side of the building and says, there's one, and then he jumps down. And then after a few moments, you hear some screaming, and then eventually he yells up, come on down. We'll go around. All right, down we go. Yeah, yeah. didn't right. expect it to go this way. <laughs> hey, another opportunity for you to kill someone, Joseph. All right. I'll tell you, I'm a good guy. <laughs> so, we're going to need to come up with uh, some... We're going to have to decide where, which is the goal. You know, whose goal is whose. Where are we going? So he kind of looks at you guys and asks you guys to decide for yourselves. Um, well, actually, the most fair way to do this takes that coin and then flips it and asks you to call in the air whether it's heads or tails. Tails. Alright. Because I'm going to roll a die. Do you want odds or evens? Uh, odds. Alright, you won the coin toss. So you can either decide uh, whether which goals you want. You're going to have to basically mark, name two landmarks in the city. Um, or you can decide to have first possession. And since the game only goes to one possession, it does give you a bit of an advantage. While you guys decide that, I'm going to look up a map of the city. 
Okay, what kind of football is this? Yeah, I'm a little confused too. Do we do we as Sabat know what he's talking about when he says football? Yes. I can't yes. like. You would be familiar with the basic concept. I mean, which is you have two goals. You have a ball, and you try and get your ball into the goal. But uh, our ball is a human. Yes. So we have to get our human to the landmark. Yep. A dead human? Well, uh, he unconscious. Says hopefully. So they're trying, so whoever has possession of the human, uh, the other pack is attacking them, attempting to take the human. Yes. Okay. And make it to and their I own goal. I want, to, I want to impede them, and if they try to get it, get it from us. Uh, much like regular football, this is a full contact sport. So you're able to do pretty much anything. Short of All right. killing, obviously. I assume no weapons are allowed. Um, weapons are allowed as long as you they're designed to wound rather than kill. So if you were to take a knife and then, say, slice someone's Achilles tendon, that would be considered fair, because you're not actually trying to but, kill them. But poisoning your blade before... Yes, trying to deal aggravated blade. damage would definitely be unsportsmanlike behavior. <laughs> unsportsmanlike. <laughs> I'll definitely bring a, a blade along. You should, guys, so basically keep in mind is that there are no rules, but the more you do, the more they're going to do back to you. So it's kind of mm -hmm. up to you guys to sort of feel out how aggressive okay. this is. Have you seen that uh, clip of a guy playing, uh, like, football and just pulls out a clock while he's running? Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking of that right now. So uh, you can kind of look around the little map I have of the okay. downtown core. Unfortunately, Mary's the only one who can do it, so she'll be the one... Do you guys decide whether you want so first... So where are we at currently? Um, you're just kind of in the central... I don't have a direct place picked out, but you they've got a car. They can take you whenever you want to go. You're going to start at a like... midpoint between them. Oh, okay. I was going to say... I'm have you guys decided whether you want to actually choose the goals yourself, or do you want to have uh, first possession? I feel like first possession would be better. Yeah. I concur. Because if that's the case, then I can just take and oh, select okay. the goals for you. That might be faster. Okay. So, let's see. All right. So you guys are at the communal haven right now. All right. So there is, is going to be a police station uh, downtown, station uh, 25, which is off to the to one side. And then on the other side... Your goal is to get them to the palace, uh, or the Palais du Justice, the courthouse, basically. Once you get there, you're free to spike the football. Um, but obviously, because the locations are very public, you're going to want to be careful. It's the added difficulty in that you shouldn't be caught, uh, you know, running around with a human. Mm -hmm. So, do we want to... He says, uh, cars allowed or not allowed? Or allowed, but procure your own? I would say not allowed. Anyone in, against that idea? Doesn't matter I'm fine with that. All right. Buses? Allowed, I would say. All right. Fair enough. So, public transportation only. Or obviously yes. running. Mm. Alright. So, you guys meet them. You guys are right outside the Haven. And you've got the destinations in mind. You guys have got first possession, so they are going to give you a head start of a couple minutes. And they've got a timer. Okay. And they say, starting now. All right, off we go. Hurry, hurry. Off we go. <laughs> All right. All right. I'll carry the body football. All right, so what is your guys' plan? Uh, I think your Joseph should try to just get there as fast as possible using public transport if need be. I'll try to protect him. Like, be a distraction, stuff like that. All right. Is anyone going to be blocking? Like, actively trying to stop... These guys. Hmm. What do I got? I don't have any streetwise. I do a little stealth or survival. 
I have high stealth if you want me to try that. That would technically be my specialty. Like surprise attacks. Yeah, I guess. And I'll just, I'm gonna, if I have to grow... Can I just pick up, room? like, a, a, a pipe or something? Something very clearly non-lethal. Okay. So you are arming yourself with a pipe, and you're staying behind in order to take care of those guys. Um, the male twin has obfuscate, so he says he will stay around with you and basically try and do the same thing, just harass Yeah, well, I'm also, off I'm also obfuscated. I, I figured, yeah. Yeah. So, right, just so well, let's make sure I wanted to put it out. Female, right. we're escorting Joe with the football. So you guys are just escorting? All right. Mm -hmm. And you're making a run for the bus. And we're making a run for the bus. Okay. So the bus and a lot of innocent people are going to get killed. All right. <clears throat> so you guys start running. So uh, the two who remain behind, you guys obfuscate, and after about five minutes, you hear the timer go off, and uh, they start, basically they break off, come off the roof, come down to where you guys were meeting up, and then you can see that one of them kind of starts feeling the ground around where you guys were standing. Oh, it's going to aspect it. And then the others are kind of all kind of in a circle around him, looking out, watching for you guys. And then mm. after a little bit, uh, he points off in the direction that you know that the others went, and all five of them start heading off that way. Then I'm following them behind. All right. So, you guys, you make it to the train station, and when you get there, you can see at the, or the, or the bus station, rather, and you can see that the next bus will be there in two minutes. Mm. Do you want to wait? Do we want to wait? How big of a head start did we get? Uh, it was five minutes was how long they were waiting for you. Okay, so we should be able to make this then, unless they're much faster than us. Well, that's what I don't know. Do they have celerity? We don't know. You don't know? Yeah. Probably know. not all of them will have it. Right, but it doesn't mean, I mean, I don't know. I don't want to be sitting here for two minutes. It's, it's true. a long time. Two minutes is a long time we're being hunted. It's true. I love you. But you'd move away faster from them on a bus. We would. How long does it take to get to the uh, courthouse? Um, You are, like, several blocks away. It's going to be a while, like, if you're just running it. Oh, what do you what do you think? Um, I don't know. Can we start walking the route and maybe catch a bus later down? At least then we'd still be on the move. It's true. You could try that. Um, you're gonna obviously have a chance that the bus is gonna go past you, and then you're gonna be further back right. in the bus schedule. I was just just wait for this one. That's my take. I don't know, Joe. What do you think? I think um, I think waiting would be the uh, the optimal choice, but also waiting would most likely lead to more people getting killed. So, so that's the one you so wanted to do. So that's the one we're doing. <laughs> Mass casualties. Well, I mean, if if that's if that's what you suggest, then I really don't have any other choice but mass casualty. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm 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 not a strategist. If if the female twin's okay with waiting, all right, she'll wait. But we'll, uh, but I'm watching. All right, yeah, she's watching as well. Um, she kind of she seems to be uh Sam currently, and she kind of whispers to you that she'll see them if they're coming, even if they're okay, even if they are hard to see. Okay, good. Thank you. All right. So. The bus slowly pulls up, and then they, you guys can get on board. All right. And then you slowly pull out again. Okay. All right. So, you guys, uh, Hassan, you and, well, you and the male twin are presumably going after him. You can't see him. 
is you're following these guys. You can see they are running. They're not like celerity running, but they are running up until the point where they reach a bus stop. And you guys can just see a bus that's pulling out uh, ahead of you. So All they, right. they start looking around, and eventually uh, one of them points down the street. And then you can see there is a bicyclist coming up. So one of the pack members steps forward, basically stays in the, kind of in the shadow of the bus stop, then sn steps out, and then choke slams the guy off his okay. bike. I will smash the wheels of the bicycle. Alright, <laughs> you're gonna run up and just dash <laughs> the fuck out of the Absolutely. Bike. <laughs> this poor guy. <laughs> Absolutely. Don't bike at night. It's dangerous. <laughs> yeah, where are your reflectors? All right, first off, give me a dexterity plus melee. That is eight special teams of press attacks. The it, bike never saw it coming. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'll give it to you. <laughs> and uh, what is your strength right now? Uh, strength is just two. Okay. The wheel isn't that hard to fuck up. Not on a bike. Yeah, you bash into this thing. <laughs> you just come out of nowhere. <laughs> and so he basically chokes him, this guy off the bike, slams him into the ground. The guy is, you know, coughing, basically got the wind knocked out of him. And then you yeah. appear out of nowhere, start bashing the fuck out of this bike. <laughs> then I run away again. One of them sees you, get that guy. And so they're moving towards you when all of a sudden you hear like, uh, like a... Uh, scream from him and then you can see that the uh the male twin has actually curled up around his leg and is slicing at his ankle with a razor and he's trying I'll... to kick him off he's trying to kick who off so this the male is the twin guy... okay so the guy that is chasing after you to tackle you to get you out is being attacked by the male twin with a razor on his yeah achilles heel Okay. So, you running away? Uh, is the male twin in a position to run away? Um, he doesn't seem to be running away. Or, wait, uh, hold on. They are still focused on me, right? Correct? They're following me They're most They're mostly of them. focused on you, although some of them are turning towards the male twin. Okay. I'll try to split them up then. Alright. I'll try to move away from the twin so they can, most of them can follow me. Okay. Do you want so to I'll... try and get their in attention? In the alley, can I... Do you want to like try and yeah, taunt them I'll... to get their attention or something like that? Sure. I'll try. Alright. Give me a manipulation plus subterfuge. That's just the free. Alright. Can I use intimidation instead? Um, not really, because you're trying to get them to follow after you. Yeah, fair. All right, but yeah, you actually do manage to draw their attention. Only the guy who's dealing with the right. male twin stays to deal with them. The rest are after you. Time to run away, then. All right. So, give me a strength plus athletics. That is five. If there's some kind of really um, tricky way to escape, like if there's um, a fire escape, I can quickly jump up and reach that, get up that way. Yeah. Something that would rely more on dexterity, I'll try to go for that. All right. Uh, give me a wits plus, um, stealth. That is six. All right. So you are basically looking around trying to find, you know, someplace out of the way that you could jump to, but, uh, you are not finding anything. And as you are kind of looking around, uh, hopefully some kind of place to obfuscate maybe, um, mm -hmm. You can see that they've actually doubled around, and you're trapped in an alley with two on each side. Huh. Alright. Are they wielding weaponry? Um, one of them has got, like, he ripped off the bike chain, but other than that, no. Alright. Uh, again. 
Oh no! <laughs> it's okay. I, I, it's okay. I built up an immunity now. <laughs> I spent the last five years of my life building up an immunity to alkaline powder. <laughs> so that's how it works, right? If I stab someone with my knife, they, they'll become immune to my sword. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I'll, I'll reach for my knife to defend myself if they go to attack me. Okay. Yeah. So, uh... They I'm just of, trying to buy time here. Yeah, they're kind of, like, moving around you. And now why don't you give me a manip uh, manipulation plus intimidation? That is six. All right. Are you sure you've brought enough people? So they're kind of... It's sort of like Arkham, uh, the Arkham games, where you've kind of... They're all in a circle around you, but no one really wants to move forward first. And then... Eventually one of them does kind of dart forward to attack you. Would you like to try and just evade him, or...? Yeah, I'll evade. Alright, dexterity plus dodge, then. That is eight. Alright. So, after uh, a little bit, uh, you just, like, get out of his way, and then another one tries it, and you just, again, event are just out of the way. Mm -hmm. After a little bit, though... Uh, Tony Hodo yells out, He's just trying to keep us busy. You, and he just points to one of them, uh, just keep him in your sight. Don't let him obfuscate. After the ball. And then the three of them just break off. And start, uh, running. Alright. In that case, I'll try to break line off sight and immediately obfuscate. Alright. That's my, that's my attempt now. Uh, strength plus athletics. That is five. All right. So as you are running, this guy basically bears down on you. And he is uh, a very large guy. And he just tackles you to the ground and just pins your arms off to your, off behind you. Oh, well. I think I did pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> not a failure this is not right. a failure so yeah it's he, absolutely not i did what i said out to do he basically just uses his girth to just sit on you uh while the game plays out mm. all right so all right you guys are on the bus and you are you do uh, i assume at least one of you was looking behind you to see if anyone follows oh yeah no yeah i'm keeping up and yeah you did see the guy like choke slam and then Aston <laughs> run up and start dashing his bike <laughs> okay and you guys and just pulled off, and pulled you up. turned around a corner, and you don't see him anymore. All right. All right. Well, they obviously know we're on this bus. Mm-hmm. So if Hassan and... How comfortable do we feel that Hassan and the male twin can handle them? Uh, well, Sam says I think Alex can handle them. Yeah. Maybe we should switch buses. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Joe, what do you think? I think that's a good idea. Okay. All right. All right. Where should we switch? I don't know. How familiar am I with the uh, with the layout of Montreal? Um, you've been here a little while, so you're fairly familiar. So I know if I go down, if we get off up here and I go down two blocks, I can catch another bus going approximately um, the same direction. Is that how familiar I am? I wouldn't say so, but you there's probably like a map of the bus routes there, I would guess, okay. that you could find and look at. All right. All right. So you could plan a route. All right. All right. As an uh, experienced uh, underground uh, dweller before my time in the Coterie, uh, what I know, slice back alleys and shortcuts to uh, get to the place quicker. Um, you're kind of, yeah. You could probably try and find something. Why don't you give me a uh, intelligence plus streetwise? That's where Stallworth whips out the seven. Nah, that's two. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Okay, so actually, you do manage to kind of trace a route. All right. Excellent. So you guys get off the uh, bus and start heading through these back alleys to get to a different mm -hmm. bus line that will also take you, but a different route, but mm -hmm. will also take you to the 
the courthouse, and as you're passing through these alleys, uh, the ball starts to moan. Oh, that's not good. Who starts to moan? Uh, the football. Ah, so the football is waking up. Mm. Mm -hmm. Might want to quickly choke him out if you can. Yes, indeed. I'll uh, I'll choke him out softly. I don't want to crush his throat or nothing. All right. Uh, give him what's your uh, strength plus potence. I'll choke him out if he repeatedly choke slams it. <laughs> uh, strength is five. Uh, my potence is two. All right. Well, you have five strength naturally. Gently. Well, he got a lot of freebie points for buying all those flaws. <laughs> Very true. So, yeah, he puts him back under. Okay. All right, let's run. <laughs> it seems like he's good at this. Yeah, I know. I've noticed. I've noticed. <laughs> like he has some sort of history with murder. Hmm. <laughs> I'll make sure he's taken care of when, uh, when we get to the goal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So, yeah, you guys are able to get there. Um, with the distraction that Hassan caused, um, you guys are able to easily take the other bus line and you get there. They eventually just check out the goal. Um, mm -hmm. One of them comes there basically just to tend it. Right. Um, and you're already in the area. In the area. Walking on up. All right. They're going to attack us, so we win. Yeah. That's it. <clears throat> that was, it was that easy? Yep. Yeah. All righty. So, All right. In that so case, uh, I'll... Um... Try to safely deliver the ball to uh, to a hospital. Make sure he's um, okay. Or a prime ed or something like that. Um, well, that would kind of require you breaking off from the group. And kind of as soon as you're finished... Um, I mean, Tony Hoda's just like... I mean, he doesn't know what happened. Just leave him here. Yeah, it's probably fine. Probably fine. Yeah, that's cool. Put him on a bench. Okay, drop him up and... Okay. Right. Let's go. Yeah. He goes over, he like <laughs> take goes to a newspaper dispenser, <laughs> takes one, and then like just kind of flips him out and then puts him over him like a blanket, like he's a homeless guy. It's like, alright, taken care of. Oh, alright, nice. good game. Right. And after everyone shows up, including uh the big guy who is kind of leading Hassan. <laughs> just carrying me on his shoulder. <laughs> like a bride. You've become the football. <laughs> says you guys are pretty quick okay i, I feel I oh feel not like... respectfully so you feel like what uh and then kind of alex says let's let's play something else oh god how close is it to dawn um you've got a few hours it didn't take you very long all right it's like maybe one o'clock okay, well, yeah, we crushed it <laughs> Or two o'clock, probably, because of the ceremony. Because, you know, so... Alex, a female or male twin right now? Alex is the male twin. I, um... <laughs> ve vehemently agree. <laughs> we should, uh... <laughs> play vehemently <something>. agree. <laughs> yes. Says, let, I want to play Cowboys and Indians. I'm a little tired. So. Yes, I am already a Native American, so we, we've already... <laughs> I would love to play Indians with you. We'll be the Indians, then. <laughs> okay, well, how We're all what? offended by this ethnic slur that has just been <laughs> put upon my people. So... Well, what, uh, how do you play this game? Well... I'm messing out of character. Uh, so out of character, um, Have some... Have never heard of cowboys and Indians? Some people dress up like cowboys, some people dress up like Indians, and... Well, they when heard. kids play it, they usually have pretend guns or mm -hmm. use their fingers or something like that. Well, you know, when America played it back in the day. <clears throat> um, but when you guys are gonna play it, your guys are gonna have small caliber revolvers. We're gonna have what? We're gonna have uh, guns. guns. Uh-huh. Okay. So, um, you guys kind of set out the rules, and since the twins obviously have played before, they kind of suggest their favorite rule set, which is if you're shot in the head, then you're dead. Okay. Uh, if you're shot in the torso once, you're okay, but if you're shot in the torso twice, you're dead. And if you get shot in a limb, then you can't use that limb. What of melee weapons? Same rules? 
Oh, there's no melee weapons. I mean, you're a cowboy. Oh. Bang, bang. Well, I was going to say, don't well, the uh, Indians have Indians have knives. That's true. They have tomahawks, don't they? Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just nodding, smiling. Um, so they kind of work out it says, Indians can have tomahawks if cowboys can have bowie knives. So we both get guns. Indians have tomahawks. Cowboys have Bowie knives. That's yep. What saying. Okay. So we got to go buy these things. No, uh, the twins actually. You guys stop off at the. Um, you guys get a car and stop off at the Camille Haven. The twins have all the equipment already ready. Even the tomahawks and Bowie knives. So they How give you. Convenient. They hand out the knives. Then they hand out the tomahawks. They hand out the revolvers. And then they also have a couple of uh, lever-action rifles, which actually look kind of antique. Mm -hmm. And there's only one of each. <laughs> so each team gets one rifle. Okay. So we're allowed to use disciplines on this? Um, well, I mean, theoretically, yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, you obviously want to play human as much as possible to be cowboys and Indians, but mm. disciplines could be used. I don't know that I want to get shot. Harden myself. Yeah. So that I'm bulletproof. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you'd still die. Would I? Oh. Because okay. if you're shot in the head, then you're dead. Mm -hmm. And then if you're shot in the torso twice. But if I hardened my skin so that I'm bulletproof. That's some little kid bullshit about how I had a bulletproof vest <laughs> on it didn't count. That's not going to fly here. <laughs> that's good, that's good thinking, though. <laughs> I know, I was just like, so then I can I mean, Hassan's going to be like, and I have a magic cloak that turns me invisible, so I can do this. No, no, no. <laughs> no, I'm playing legit. Alright. So if All I right. hit, hit someone in the chest with this tomahawk, like, they won't die, die, right? No, probably not. Melee oh, weapon. Melee weapon. If it's a torso hit with a melee weapon, that also counts as dead in game. Dead. All right, cool. All right. So. Yeah, um, uh, I'm no good at any of this, so. All right. So you guys <clears throat> head out to the slums. You both go into opposite regions to uh, start your planning. And so, and you can hand out your equipment. So there's enough that everyone can get a melee weapon and a firearm, okay. a gun. Uh, who would like the rifles? Or the rifle? Somebody who has firearms, I would think. I have none of that. I have three of that. All right, so we're going right. to hand that over to Joe. So Joe's got the rifle. And they also had, by the way, I forgot to mention, but they do have outfits for everyone as well. Ah. So all of you have war paint on. Um, I do I have a feather sticking up out of a you've got, They my... do have a headband with a feather there. Um, so, yeah. All right. I feel right at home. <laughs> Star Wars, you know that Native Americans aren't actually like that. With this, like, <laughs> this is a racist <laughs> caricature. You're in the equivalent of blackface right now. <laughs> is, and you're fine. Oh, damn. Fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn, that's damn. And you're, and you're pretending that anyway. Yeah. All right. I, yeah. I feel mildly uncomfortable, but since uh, the male twin was the one who set this up, I also feel comfortable. You're just fine with it. And he says, "I uh, thought you were being ironic the whole time." And also, so everyone else has the little one feather coming mm -hmm. up because they're all Indian braves. But since you're the real Indian, you're the Indian chief, and you have a headdress. All right. And you're like, "Yep, this is fine." <laughs> Excellent. How big am Indian chief? Yeah, I was going to say, start talking like Tonto and it'll be complete. <laughs> I don't know if I can do all that. <laughs> start calling people Kimosabi. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, male twin kind of looks out into the distance and he says, hmm, white man in area. <laughs> Here to take our land. Give us beads. And this is essentially what Lizia is doing at this point. It's just... Time to scalp. Oh, God. Scalp indeed. Where is he? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, um... 
<laughs> he kind of turns to his sister and he says, Indian brave Sam, find him. And then she kind of starts sniffing at the air and she kind of starts leading off your war party in a direction. And we are, of course, walking single file. To hide your to numbers. To hide our numbers. <laughs> if you wish to, yes. <laughs> I just felt like that's something be, he'd be yeah. something he'd command. So, obviously, Indian Chief goes first. Mm -hmm. uh, the twins both have revolvers out. Uh, what are you guys holding currently? Uh, what's my knife allowed? Uh, your knife? No. You have a tomahawk. Yep, uh, that'll do then. I'll use that. All I'll right. have that ready. Indians have knives, though. I don't know. Do you want to... Can I fuse the tomahawk I'm not gonna race to the in subject. my hand or something so it can be a brawl instead of a melee? There's really no way you're going to be able to work around that, but it will be kind of a choice of whether you would like to try and stay back or if you're going to just run up kamikaze style on them. Uh... Can I go into hiding and attack them when they try to go after us? Uh, you could try that, yeah. Yeah. No obfuscate, just hiding generally. Okay. Um, so running up to... I mean, do you want attacking. melee or do you want a ranged weapon, basically? Um, well, I was going to say I don't have melee or anything. I want a brawl. Well, well I'm, I'm saying there's no way brawl. you can work around that. You're going to have to just rely on your decks. It's really what kind of position would you feel best in. Alrighty. Gun or? Um, I guess the gun. Okay. It'll be better range. All right. So, you guys start heading around. Hassan gets his tomahawk ready and ducks off to the sides. Give me dexterity plus stealth. Dexterity plus stealth. That would be eight. Surprise attack. Does that count here? If I'm getting ready for a surprise attack. Yeah. I'll count it. Okay. All right, so as you guys are kind of wandering around, eventually, uh, Hassan, you can, as you're sneaking around the group, you actually spy a group of four of them that are all talking. And you can see that they've taken off uh, all of their, like, cowboy gear, and they seem to be arming themselves with, like, assault rifles and machetes. Hmm. I'll let the pack know about this. You gonna try and sneak out and back around? Yeah, I will. Okay. And I will use Obfuscate now. Okay. So, as uh, you're sneaking back around, you guys are looking around for the, uh, the person when Hassan just appears nearby. He drops Obfuscate. Okay, did you find him? I did, and I believe they may not be intending to play by the rules. I saw them preparing modern weaponry. Okay, we're gonna look over at the male twin. That's not allowed. That's cheating. So what do we do? Hmm. We cheat back. <laughs> hmm. I don't suppose... Why? Well, I, I mean, yeah, we could do that. We don't have any guns, though. Where did they get them? They must have had a stash somewhere. Hmm. He says, I suppose we could go back to the lair. Or we could beat them at their own game. What are you thinking? I'm thinking we could pull some sneak attacks, some guerrilla-style stuff. We are Indian. It's true. I mean, it's how it was in real life. I mean, of course we know how it how to end it in real life also. <laughs> but... <laughs> we're going to be put on a reservation. <laughs> if we're not just outright killed. Hmm. But yes, the technology gap would be very much more realistic. Hmm. 
Well, Hassan? Yes? You want to go? Well, considering what has transpired tonight, I would honestly prefer to, but I don't suppose I have much choice in the matter. So you're going to go? <laughs> that, is that a yes or a no? That was a yes. That's it. I have no choice in the matter. Right. So, yes. He obfuscates. Right, what am I doing exactly? I kind of sound out there. Sorry. Uh, well, Joseph suggested that everyone, you know, basically try and sneak up, use guerrilla style tactics on him. Yeah, so he just obfuscated. So apparently you're going to obfuscate and, and do a sneak attack as well. Uh, all right. All right. I'll try to uh, <clears throat> catch their attention since I'm the only one with a gun or with the rifle. Mm -hmm. All right. In that case, I'll spend the one blood point on aggravated damage for my knife. Okay. Uh, I'll try to, um... You're not going to still gonna... use the tomahawk just for... <laughs> <laughs> I'll also get rid of the war paint. Oh. Mm, okay. Um, so, uh, what's your, uh, what's your stealth like, Joseph? Oh, uh, let me check. Because it's you, me, and the, and the... Non-existent. Wow. You call yourself an Indian. Right. I'm more of a Native like American. <laughs> anyway. All right. Well, I've got my gun, right? Can I get into a. Can I stealthily sneak up and find a location where I can hide and shoot my gun? Yeah. I mean, you don't have to shoot the gun anymore if you guys are going off the reservation. Well, right, but what other ranged weapon do I have? I guess. I'm just saying, if you want to run up to them and vicissitude them, oh, and brawl okay. them, that's now. Oh, now I can do the brawl, is what you're saying. Although it's not all that great. But yeah, if I can get up there as sneakily as possible. All right. And grow some claws. Or you can just vicissitude them, too. Claw them. And vicissitude them. All right. So, uh, let's see. Give me a dexterity plus stealth. Five. And if anyone tries to uh, aim at her, if she gets noticed, I'll try to shoot at their uh, gun hand. Okay. So, uh, give me a dexterity plus stealth from you, Joseph. Uh, that's five. And now can I harden my skin with vicissitude so I don't yep. take bullets? Um, you are going to lower your dexterity when you do that. Oh, am I? Yeah. Okay. A full, like, Zulu war form is level four vicissitude. That's where you actually can just vicissitude yourself into a form that just gives you bonuses. Oh, okay. Gotta get, you gotta get that fourth dot. The fourth dot's good. And I think level six is the one where you can fly. Yeah, that's a really good one. So. Yeah. But plasma form, though, that's the really good one. <laughs> it is good in certain situations. Plasma form is you become fucking invincible to anything but magic and fire. Yeah. You can't really do anything back to someone, but... No, but you can run away. Yeah. It's you, perfect. You can just get yourself down the drain, and then you're free. <laughs> Later it hurts. <laughs> like, it would be perfect now. I can go up sneak attack plasma form, and they can't do shit. I'm done. Yeah. See ya. Rinse repeat. So you do want to start learning vicissitude. No, to, no, no. See, I need to increase my vicissitude so you all can get higher vicissitude. Because I know y'all. No, are. stop. Stop. <laughs> all right. Doing it for the pack, guys. So you guys are starting to sneak into position. And uh, Joseph, as you kind of get onto sort of a rooftop area where you can kind of oversee operations with your rifle. Um, after a little bit, uh, you hear a door on the rooftop open, and you see a man who is holding a crossbow on you. Like, you're kind of just turning around, and you can see he's already got it pointed directly at you. And he says, don't move, leech. I got this aim right at your heart. Do I recognize this person? Like, is he part of the game? He is not a part of the pack. He is someone completely new. So I could vicissitude my heart into a different area of my body. Yes, you could. And I would be doing that as soon as possible. <laughs> as soon as you hear this story. <laughs> as soon as I hear this story, Lysia's moving her heart. All right. 
Go ahead. So yeah, he seems to be someone completely new. Could we maybe bring these guys over to him? You don't know anything you, about it No one yet. else it's knows about Joe this. And this guy I don't know, I'm just, I'm just thinking aloud. Yeah. Okay. Did, 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 did we ever develop some type of way to inform each other that we're in trouble? Nope. Not really. Fuck. So that's, we're doing that. That's another suggestion <laughs> that Joseph makes <laughs> Once the story gets after told. the story. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I still have Opten Abrasion 1. Can I manipulate shadows around me to spell out help on, like, the wall? <laughs> you could create kind of like an SOS signal, maybe. Will the person with the crossbow notice? Um, if you put it down in the alley, you could try and put it in such a way that he doesn't notice. Okay, I'll try to do that then. All right, so you have to spend a blood point and give me a manipulation plus a cult. That is, uh, six. Okay. Yeah, so from where you're hiding, Lysia, you can see that there seem to be, like, weird kind of flashes of light. It seems like shadows are moving oddly. Um, Do I know where Joseph went in the process? Yeah, you know thing, about, so. yeah, it's over in his area. You're not sure what it means, but it, right, it's so definitely okay. a use of obtenebration for some Obviously. reason. So I'll... Watch, and it's not to draw. It doesn't look like it. Anybody over there? It's just so. All right. Well, I'll head back and and see, because that kind of concerns me. All right. So while you're still on the roof, he said he kind of starts sidling closer to you, and he says, "I got you dead to rights. And my partner's out there too, so don't try anything." Who the hell are you? He says, name is Sirocco. I'm gonna need something from you. And, uh, what might that be? And I'm also trying to stall for time. Alright. So he, uh, takes out, uh, like, an IV bag and, uh, like a hose needle and everything and he throws it over towards you i uh i look down at the uh bag feigning um fear <laughs> and i begin shaking slightly and right. what am i supposed to do with that give me a manipulation plus performance on this one three you know, his name is Joseph. He could be Indian Joe. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and he may get that nickname after this. <laughs> Injun Joe. Injun Joe. Not Indian Joe, really. Okay. It's Injun Joe. Okay. Uh, says, I want what you got, vampire. What, what, what do you mean? My, my blood? <laughs> <laughs> Bingo. I begin to uh, shake more with uh, with quote unquote fear, mm -hmm. and I say I I, I I can't do that. I'm 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 terribly afraid of uh, draining myself. Uh, well, are you afraid of taking a arrow through the heart? I cover my heart and I say, please no, <laughs> please. Please. <laughs> I won't need to. Oh my god. If you hurry up. Otherwise, I stake you and then take the blood after. I begin shaking more and I I say, okay, I'm I'll, I'm doing it. And I pick uh I pick up the uh, IV and I I uh I pretend like I'm trying to put it in my arm. Mm -hmm. I miss a few times. Still trying to stall for time. It's hard to find a vein. Mm -hmm. All right. And, uh, Lizia, you kind of creep up on the side of this building and you can kind of see this transpiring. Okay. So I can identify this guy as Hunter, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So can I sneak up behind him? 
Is there anybody else? Is it just him? Um, it is, it does seem to be just him so far. Okay. So you're going to try and sneak up behind him? Yeah, I'll try and sneak up right, behind him. dexterity plus stealth. Uh, that's five. All right. So yeah, uh, as you're doing this, uh, Joseph, you can see uh, that the guy seems to be getting more annoyed by how long you're taking, but you can also see that Lysia is now up on the roof, creeping up behind this guy. He says, just put it in, or I shoot you. You got till the count of three. One. Two. Okay, I'm okay. I'm doing it. All right. And... Okay, so I will um, brawl this right. guy. Can I, I can vicissitude humans? Yes. Okay. Uh, so dexterity plus brawl to hit. Okay. So that's four. All right. And then your damage is strength plus body crafts. So that's five. All right. So you start uh, grabbing him, just start like wrenching his bones out of place, and he screams and he shoots at Joseph. I dodge. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. We'll see in a second. Uh, what is your dexterity plus dodge? Uh, seven with a specialty. Cat-like reflex. Alright. He's a dancing out of the way. Maybe. Yes, you're able to easily dive out of the way. Excellent. And after I dive out of the way, I will swiftly inform Alessia that he has a partner somewhere. I don't know where the partner is, though. Alright. He is still active. He's not, like, dead or anything. So, oh, okay, so well, I'll down. break one of his legs. All right. I was, they're dislocated. So, you, yeah, you're able to, between the two of you, you're, yeah. like, assisting him, and then Joseph pulls out the fucking tomahawk <laughs> and comes at this guy. <laughs> All right. And you're able to bring him down. All right. You don't see any traces of a partner. Yeah, I didn't see anybody coming up. Where is this partner? I don't know, but he made sure to inform me that he had a partner. Now... Possibly it might have been just a just a uh, a bluff to get me not to try anything, but I don't think that's something we should uh, just leave right. the chance. True. So is this guy awake? Uh, no. I mean, after you start vicissituting and like tomahawking him, he passes out he from passed the out. Okay. the pain. All right. Well, I suppose we don't do. Well, I don't know. It's a hunter, right? But he didn't actually try to kill Joseph. No. So he just, he seemed to want your blood. Is he one of those weirdos that just drinks vampire blood? Could be. For the, for the high. Wouldn't that make him a ghoul, though? Well, he probably gets blood from uh, different vampires, so he's never blood bound. Ah, uh, okay, that makes sense. So I don't know. Probably pretty harmless, as long as he didn't try to hurt you. Mm. I've still got more humanity than you, so I probably would not suggest killing this guy. Or I would suggest to not kill the guy. But Joseph but jo just has a hankering for another one. Well, based on my humanity, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm probably about 50-50. It, it doesn't matter to me if I kill him. But, you know, we should probably, for the sake of Mr. Yamamoto, we should probably try to interrogate him or something. All right. So, uh, Hassan, you are sneaking around obfuscate, and after a little bit, you find out where the other pack was again. Um, but this time, you find out that they seem to have, uh, like, gunned down um, someone that you don't recognize. Um, from the looks of the bullet wounds, he was human, um, but he's dead now. Can I take a picture of this on my phone? Yes. I will do so. All right. No, no sound, no blitz. All right. You turn the flash on. 
Smile. And then what do you do? I have no idea what to do next on this. I just figured I would need some evidence. All right. So I'll prepare to attack them on okay. uh, in sync with the um, other one, whom I can't see. Yeah. So I'll I'll wait for him, then I'll do my own. Yeah, as you're going around, um, basically no one seems to be attacking. But these are definitely the guys, right? I mean, this is the pack that you that was going after you, um, and then the guy that you don't recognize. Who's dead now? Yeah. Hmm. Does this guy have any weapons? Um, the guy that they killed does seem to have had weapons. They're divvying them up. Oh. Oh. Um, very odd. Must be something we're missing here. I don't think they would gun down a random person in the streets just for the hell of it. Mm hmm. And this, the guy seems pretty heavily armed himself. He's got like a crossbow. Yeah, it seems like... Oh, they were attacked by a hunter, I think. It's possible. What do you want to hmm. do? I'm still waiting for the twin to attack. I figure, I figure he's going to probably lead this. No, he doesn't uh, do anything. <laughs> Neither am I. Are they just going to stand there eternally and wait? Eventually, uh, you hear the female twin comes out. Um, and she says, we found a person, and then Tony Hodo comes up to her and says, yeah, we, uh, we got one too. We should probably all meet up with each other at some point. Collect your guys and we'll meet up back at your lair. Hmm. And so, uh, the female twin, um, immediately goes over to where her brother is, and they start walking yeah, back. I'll, I'll, the I'll head back to the group then. Alright. So yeah, when you guys all meet up again, you find out that the Lysia and Joseph have disabled someone. Who's this? He was attacking Joseph to uh, gain his blood. Most likely a hunter. Yeah, but he wasn't actually out to kill you. That's that's very true. So a hunter addicted to vampire vitae, something I don't know. Use somebody weird, yeah. Hunter tactics, but not necessarily a hunter. We'll get things out of him when he wakes up. All right. <laughs> you guys know how to torture. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> So when you guys all meet up, um, you can see that there's one less member of the Cryptics. Um, and they say, uh, obviously the game was interrupted. Um, we were attacked, as I presume you have been. Mm -hmm. uh, and one of us is no more. Hmm. Our guy didn't actually... See. Should we point out their weaponry? Obviously, they knew something. Since you caught this one, we will leave it uh, for you to question him further. However, um, we would be appreciate any information you could give us. Yeah, of course. Of course. Alright. But no, really, should, should, should we bring up that they we saw them with different weapons? Well, it's because they were being hunted. Well, yeah, but I'm, I'm assuming they, seem to have, they seem to have them out. How did they get them? From the... Well, what the... Oh, their assault weaponry? Yeah. You're saying how did they... Yeah, how, how did they find those? Okay, so they this is... But they just bring is those? to herself mm -hmm. as, as they're talking. That that was why they took off their cowboy clothes and went into their stash and got the assault rifles yeah, the... because they were going after the hunter who had killed one of them. Yeah, that definitely that timeline could work, yes. Yeah. So I'm, I'm going to think the best of like, them for whatever reason. 
Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense then. All right. I shall do the same, as my thing killing rating seems to kind of force me to. Yeah, mine doesn't, but that's just my nature. Since they didn't, they weren't openly hostile toward us. I'm going to assume they were. What you saw was them getting ready to go after the hunter that had just killed one of their guys. So that was a fortunate. Because if we had actually attacked them in force. They might not have been so, so they say it's nearly dawn, so we should probably find a place to stay for the evening. I don't know what what's the what's the hospital or uh, the. You do have, uh, do have guest, guest havens in the in lair. The, I was going to say, is it is it tradition to have them stay over, kind of a thing? It's not tradition, but it would be polite. It would be a polite thing. So, all right. So obviously, I would welcome them to stay at our place since we're here right yeah because didn't we go back anyway so yeah so obviously i would bid them to uh enter freely and go yes. safely and go safely <laughs> so meets you take hospitality very seriously i know that's why i'm all right well all right yeah they'll take you up in your offer okay and we'll stay at the in the guest havens and uh yeah we'll throw our other guy into the jail with the yeah. 15 other people we've got locked up in there. So we'll handle the interrogation uh, later, but they okay. want to be there for it, right. for it when it occurs. All right. Is there anything else that I'm forgetting? Um, your Jean... On the way home, if I have time, I would like to feed. Yeah. Um, so I'm here. You've got, well, you've got the uh, hunter who's been knocked unconscious. You could take two blood points from him if you want to keep him in condition where you can still torture him later. Which I assume you guys do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So you can take one each. Other than that, it is very near dawn, so there's not really an opportunity to feed this night. Um... Yeah, and your uh, human is still around, even though you went off to play your games. Uh, Jean was nice enough to take care of her. Um, so they've been off doing what some whatever with each other, you know. Mm, well, you know, Jean likes there. humans, I know that. I like humans, too. Yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you haven't actually decided where exactly she is going to be staying. Obviously, she's staying with you, but where in the... Are you going to keep her in your personal room? Are you going to do something else? Joseph always has a spot open. <laughs> are you going to give her to Joseph for some reason? Oh my god. <laughs> Remember, Lizzie is watching. And Miles isn't here. Miles? I'm here, yeah. Oh, you are here. Okay. He's what thinking. Oh, he's thinking. Don't really have any suggestions of where to put her. Or him, rather. I was going to say... Uh, the guy who gave her to you said put her in the dog kennel, but... That may not be the place she wants. Yeah. Be. Probably just going to have to look. I'm not looking after another one. <laughs> so. Um, the same, man. I could take her off your hand. I, I was going to say, you probably want to keep her in your own room. Just so, you know. Unless you want to give her to Joseph. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, keep, I'm keeping the girl with myself, but I'm not taking the other one. I'm not taking the other one. Alright. The, the, the hostage. One. Oh, no, oh, no. He's going into the jail. We no, yeah, he's going in the, the prison. Jail. I'm just saying where you're Oh, I missed this what we were talking about. Late. My bad. Yeah, yeah no, where are you the, keeping? Where is she is, sleeping? Is the girl sleeping in your room? Oh yeah, sorry, I completely missed that. Uh, yeah, I was, I was keeping her in my room. <laughs> I was thinking about keeping the man in my room. Yeah, but... well, uh, you know. All right. No, I'm keeping her in my room. Okay. So, um, yeah, you are doing that. Um, and uh. Yamamoto also tells you before you guys go to sleep that you're also going to have to give her a name. Alright then. 
I'll grab a piece of paper. I assume you have some lying around, a pen. Yeah. Is there something you would like to be called? Um, she just looks at you terrified. She doesn't actually say anything. She doesn't take the paper or anything. Do you not have a name? Um, Yamamoto, who's kind of there, just says, the point is for you to give her a name. Ah. Very well, then. How does Abigail sound? Sounds fine to does me. Does she react at all? She isn't I'm asking anything, her. But he says, sounds fine to me, and he claps you on the shoulder and says, all right, she's Abigail now. And then all right. Yamamoto leaves. All right. Well then. I understand this may be a bit distressing for you, but <laughs> I... <laughs> I'll try to be nice. <laughs> a bit distressing. A bit distressing. <laughs> it may be a wee bit uncomfortable, but... Good day to you. <laughs> Good day to you. <laughs> the crap out of him. Good day to you. <laughs> but I will ensure your safety, so please do not worry. All right. So, she sleeps with you in your room. Mm-hmm. And uh, everyone takes off a blood point for the evening. Uh, could are... I feed on the way home or was there no time? Uh, there was not enough time. You're going to have to handle it in the next game. Oh boy, I'm down to free again. Yeah, well that's not quite as concerning as the other thing that's going on. <laughs> uh, there's something else you're down to zero on. <laughs> I know, I know. Power. It's going to go into frenzy. So, uh, yeah. What is your nature and demeanor? Uh, let me check. Should I uh, post it in chat to you, or should I just say it out loud? I can just say it out loud. My nature is rebel, my demeanor is conformist. Alright. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I would say, actually, being a conformist, the conformist side of you, for agreeing to all everything that you've gotten through, uh, I'm going to give you a willpower point so you have at least one. For doing that thing where you spent like seven points of willpower, you regained a point of willpower. <laughs> spent seven points of blood, six points of willpower, and I gained. To not lose one point, but I gained one point of willpower. <laughs> Worthy trade. Alright, so we are going to handle experience now. So, what did everyone learn? Let's start with Hassan. I learned what happens when I don't succeed perfectly. Alright. Mm -hmm. You get the opportunity to gain a point of willpower. Mm. <laughs> You're losing. If I upgrade my maximum power, do I also gain a point? Uh, yeah. That may be something to consider just for the immediate future. Although you can only spend experience points during uh, downtime between game sessions, and you refill your willpower during those, so it doesn't really come up. That I've heard, of course. And uh, Joseph, what did you learn? What's up? What do you what did your character learn during the session? Well, I learned that uh I learned that there are some hunters out there that uh get a kick out of drinking vampire's blood. Alright. And Lysia. Um Well, I learned uh, that Hassan is on a path of enlightenment. All right. Or wants to. Okay. Um, transition over? Transition over to a path All right. And who won the Experience Play Award last time? I did. You did? All right. Yeah. So you choose which one of these two wins it. Hmm. Is it the murderer or the assassin? Huh. I don't know. That's a hard... They both had some good... Some good, uh, we have, we have Joe shaking in his boots on a <laughs> That's with a true. Hunter. Uh, and we got Hassan sucking it up in a, uh, test of pain. Whew. 
I really thought Star Wars should have won last week. I don't know why I won, because he was doing awesome too. So I'm gonna I'm gonna lean towards Star Wars on this one. Okay. So, Star Wars, you gain four experience points. Everyone else gains three. Ooh. And when we pick up next time, uh, we're gonna be picking up next time. Are we doing something next week? Because David won't be here. Um, David won't be there, but assuming that everyone else who is here now shows up, then yes, we will play. Jean is just pouting in his room right now while we're out playing football and Cowboys. And that sounds football. much better than what happened to me. Yeah. <laughs> so. All right, so I'm going to end the stream here. So thanks for watching.